Oh my god. Welcome back to is this the this is the first edition actually ah. of a new is it is <laughs> the first edition of <laughs> a new season. First edition. First you know what I'm trying to say. Listeners, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I've been drinking shivers, but the point of the conversation... With the is, shivers in the system, ain't no telling how. The point of the conversation is that we are back. We are absolutely back. Zero Conditions Podcast is back. And um, I'm so happy to be back, back in this chair. Not pushing agenda again, are you? I have never been pushing agenda, but yes, guys. <coughs> Shout out to everyone who sent us messages, you know, texting us, asking us, when are you coming back? Dragging us, as usual. I love the fact that when we decide to take breaks, you guys force us out of retirement. And, you know, Tanani... And are you going to retire at 32? <laughs> Tanani, oh, so you want to be there more until you rest in peace, Abby? No. Like, like AOT that is, like, pushing 50 and still in the streets. I just want to, just, you know, since we're all coming out, it was recently uh, the day, we're celebrating the boy, the boy child. I want to just say that, uh, uh, what's her name? Melody. Melody, who is a bastion of femininity in Nigeria, <laughs> is once again pushing ageism towards the man. <laughs> <laughs> this shows you the lopsided way. Melody, did, you, you, did you celebrate Father's Day this year? <sighs> yes, I did. How, are, where did you post it? We are back. Where did you post it? So let me, oh, God, can you let me finish? Where did you post it? Where on social where media? Oh my God, we are back. Zero Conditions is back. Melody and Talani is in the building. Excel has retired. <laughs> Finish your intro first. Yeah, the podcast is back. But yes, Excel has retired. It's found good. But Talani is in the street. <laughs> and you guys have forced two people out of retirement. And we are back. So much has been happening in Afrobeat. Somebody has to talk about it. Before we get there. Yeah. What? This episode was brought to you by who? Ha, it's obvious who it was brought to. You can see how I am. <laughs> you know who brought it already. Because why in heaven's name is Melody doing an intro because of Shiva's? <laughs> in what world am I doing an intro? <laughs> Tell to Shiva's confidence. I swear to God. XV. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice to be back. And we've got AOT too. Afrobeat legend. I'm just an intern. Thank you very much. Uh, and Mutalani is also back. Mutalani Alake. Alake, please. Whatever. Pronounce your name yourself. That's not my job. Wow. Don't emotionally give Why are you so violent, Melody? It's, it's, it's just I'm asking somebody's name again. I'm it's triggered. Me. I'm triggered. Whatever. <laughs> I'm triggered. Like, mis- Your mental what, health is affected. What's the next thing you are going to do? Misgendering? Guys, Afrobeat has been misgendered, though. <laughs> By who? <laughs> By the actress. You see, they're not in Afrobeat. <laughs> that's, those are the people you're I supposed think, to be I, fighting I, against. I, I, I think that's the title of this episode. Afrobeat has been misgendered. Misgendering of Afrobeat. Bro. Afrobeat legend, what's going on? What, what has been happening, please? So, let's start with the misgendering of mm. Afrobeat. Okay, by who? <laughs> by the Afrobeat artists. They, you have to give me examples. I will, defi- okay. most definitely. Okay. So, um, there's so much to catch up on. First off, Afrobeat artists, some Afrobeat artists have been saying that they do not do Afrobeat. I saw an interview that wow. Fireboy said, um, okay. said, I don't do Afrobeat. So, I what do. does he do? He said he does. Afro life. But on that interview, he didn't say Afro life. He said he does different things. But he said, I don't do Afro bits. An interview before then, he said it was like Afro high life or Afro life. So Okay, so yes. Then also yeah, we had... Afro life is 20, 2019. Is that a branch of deeper life? Is Kumuyi <laughs> investing in Afro bits now? You know, Kumuyi, they, they have TVs now, so it's yeah. very possible. And maybe they want to start singing in deeper life. Now. Branching out. Okay. Then we also it's saw the conversation that took over social media of um, Whiskey talking about the same Afro bits thing. Mm. Saying... Bababolu. Mm. Bababolu. Yeah. I will love of Afrobeat. But generally, there's been a conversation of an Afrobeat artist coming and say they don't do Afrobeat. Yeah. And they do other things. So wow. then, um, then they go on to drop songs. Um, Fireboy has a new song titled Every Day. Mm-hmm. What genre is that? It's Afro High Life now. <laughs> but what's going on? The person named me picking Tunde, you will call him Tunde for him now. Do you understand? Let me be born now. Don't be born. Yeah. Well, I don't even sing. So the issue here is we have to dial back a bit. Sorry. That's what we brought to you. Please. Small history. So we, we love the history. <coughs> we all know contemporary pop music in Nigeria for our generation. Popularly started in, or kick, really kick started in 1998, even though there were traces way back in the early 90s, late 80s anyway. And it all continued into the 2000s, then the f- second decade of the 2000s, all of a sudden in London, which is a diaspora hotbed for Nigerians and Ghanaians. Afrobeat's you know, mecca. 
the thank you Afrobeats Mecca. That's where they signed the paper for Afrobeats. The word Afrobeats came about. You know, it's closely associated with um, our guy, our Ghanaian brother, yeah, DJ Abrante. Uh, yep. He. Um, uh, initially, you don't allow people to hear you say that though. Please, if you can, some people refute that. If that you he can was come up with evidence, but we'd have done archaeology. We've entered the archaeology. I don't understand. This is the legend. If you can give me, we all looked at it. If you can give me somebody who was associated with the name before he did it, Abrante, yeah. I'll say Then yes. I'll, I'll listen to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Abrante did it. He had a radio show and it was called Afrobeats with Abrante. Yeah. Shortly after that, The Guardian UK did a piece on West African pop music. <clears throat> Whiskey, Ice Prince, Sakodi and the likes and they called it Afrobeats. That same year also, DJC told me that there was a concert called the Afrobeats concert. The first time the concert was being called Afrobeats concert. Yeah. Peace Square headlined, Whiskey headlined. You can mm. check it on YouTube. Right? And we in Nigeria, when we heard Afrobeats, we were like... You guys fought against it, by the way. Yeah, I was like, sorry, what's Afrobeats with that S? What's, where's the S coming from? Fela is the only one we know. And I remember the Kuti family even saying that this thing will cause confusion down the line. It did. That Yeni Kuti actually said it, that, look, people are going to... That's what I They're going to misgender this thing. Misgender. And we can see that today, some so-called Afrobeats experts will come and say, ah, Afrobeats. And I'm like, sorry, what are you talking about? Is it the Fela <laughs> genre or the pop music genre? But while we were still struggling with it, came, then that now came the success. Started hearing Ojelegba remix popping. If, for, Ye, Johnny. Techno. Techno, Banner. everybody. Um, what is young guy's, this guy's name that's in America? Um, that really I, had the I, first. Ayo, 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 really had the first Afrobeat record Gold in record. America. Globally. Yeah. Is he American? Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's an American citizen. I don't know. But it's, it's, he has. I never, I never really. It's very interesting because. I know some things about him. I never yeah, he was in Nigeria for a bit. I assume I was managing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. Moved, to Amer- yeah. moved back to America. Yeah. That song was a huge song, bro. Yeah. yeah. At the time, it was, that song it's was... a gold record. At that I think it's going to be platinum soon. At the time, that song was popping. IOJ yeah. could enter any club in New York before David or Whiskey. Yeah. As because a bad guy. Because he was that huge back, yeah. back there. So when the success now came, people were like, okay, this Afro is that we, it's not our name, but if like it's, say they open it, doors. It's going to lead us to somewhere. Yeah. Now we have some certain frontier or pioneers or frontline artists who frontline. are saying, Hold up. Now, to be fair to Bonner Boy and David Doe, as far back as 1617, they said it. We are doing Afrofusion, which to me is the most is the simplistic definition of Afrobeats. <coughs> you fusing <coughs> genres together. Yeah. But that's another story. We're going to go to that story. Afrobeat and Afrofusion. The same. You now look at a fire boy who says he's doing Afro High Life. Afro know, Life. Afro Life. Afro life. Sometimes I question if our artists know music history. Because I'm not a short. If you know music history, I want to believe that his, his life, the life he's talking about is taken from high life. <laughs> There's nothing more African or Nigerian than high life. That is indigenous, an indigenous genre of music. There's hip life in Ghana, or yep. there was hip life, yep. until they slapped them to and said, you must, you have to have beats, which is a mixture of hip hop and high life. They crept them. Yeah. yeah. So, Fireboy's one is interesting. I don't, maybe what's a niche for himself, I don't get. Whiskey, I just believe, you know, maybe it's the after effect of <laughs> him not winning R&B. Him not winning. AOT. No, I'm, this is factual now. Maybe it's just like, oh, if I was really tagged as an R&B artist, SS would have had a shot at the Grammys and not been pigeonholed into <laughs> Africa and the, the, the rest of the The question is, what category did they submit the song for? Bro, you and I know. The things that so yeah. I also feel that maybe Wiz is looking for okay, let me just stay up the honest nest. My next project is dropping, I have to do something, yeah. And he did it, which is surprising because the record that everybody's expecting from Wiz Kid is even not Afrobeats, it's Apala. <laughs> it's contact, it's today, modern today, Apala. You go, no, so when you say you're not yeah. Afrobeats again, I don't understand. Is it you saying, Oh, I don't fuck with this culture anymore, or let me just be with RB? I don't get. His own. Maybe there's an identity crisis happening somewhere. Can, you Can I win? Yeah. First is first. Stop stepping on me. Push the, there are two reasons why Afrobeats became... I don't think it's a genre. I think it's more a movement and an umbrella culture. term. Yeah. Um, Obiasika said it. It's more yeah, of a I th- culture. I think it's more of, a, it's more of a, a culture, movement, and an umbrella term. Afrobeats with the And S. the reason... Yeah, oh, yes. and the reason why it's like that is if you are going to export any sound, and when I say any sound, 
Except the sound has a unique genre identifier. And has a strong footing. And has a strong footing. You are not going to go anywhere. Now, what is a genre? A genre is a sound. It's a, an easily recognizable sound with an easily recognizable DNA in patterns, percussion, sound progression, vocal chord delivery, progression, everything. vocal delivery, everything. What determines the genre of, of, of a song? The beat, the topic, the way the person delivers the topic. That's why a song can be trap because of the drummer, because of the percussion. Yep. It can be mumble rap because of the way the person is the saying delivery it. Of it. It can be emo or cloud rap the way the pe- uh, for, how the, for what the person is actually saying. Now, a lot of Nigerian artists, before we got to this rejection of Afrobeats, AOT Melody, you can testify to this. The number one problem that we had was everybody wanted to create a genre. Yes. Ah. Uh. We had that problem <laughs> for a long it's not time. Even our has it generation. stopped? It is. It has been it's around. Has been everybody wants to be a pioneer. Yeah. Now, there are four pioneers that I know in Nigerian music. As far as I'm concerned, there are three pioneers. No, actually two Mm-mm. that I know. One, Fela Nkola Kwakutu. Mm-hmm. Two, Sikura Ede Barista. Barista. Do you understand? I know those two because the sound that they created have a rich history. What sound did they create? Fela Nkola Kwakutu. Pukuti with Afrobeats, mm-hmm. Sikura Ide Barista with Fuji music. Fuji music, Fuji music of, of, um, originated from Were and Azan, things that were popular to Kwara and Ibano. You know, from, the music, Allah, from the Muslim, from the Muslim culture. Uh, Allah, like, if you listen, to, there's a reason why um, Fuji music is more peculiar to Islam. Yeah. yeah. Now, Yoruba all Muslims. F- Yoruba Muslims. Everybody that we know that does Fuji is a Yoruba mm-hmm. The superstars are Yoruba, Yoruba The Muslim. person is a Yoruba Muslim. Mm-hmm. Now, the what problem, about other genres like them, Juju? Juju, I, I personally wouldn't know the origin story, but I, I know some of the proponents. Some of the proponents, someone that really changed the sound of Juju was Shino Peters. What about Akpala? Shinomania and Akpala as well. So not right? just Juju. But Akpala, Akpala was... Um, but, uh, it's, it, wasn't, it wasn't uh, mostly Aruna It wasn't Aruna Shola. Shola. It wasn't Aruna It wasn't, because I know he had people before, before that. Yeah, what about those guys, uh, the name that has and the brothers... No, no, Oriental um, Brothers. Oriental Brothers. No, that's no. that's high life. No, no, not, not those ones. I'll, I'll, not, not those ones. Continue, but I'll, I'll figure it out. So, like that's the, Akpala. Akpala was the music. Was the sound of the elites. It was rich people so music. So Akpala, Juju, Akpala, Fuji, Juju, Fuji. and Afrobeat. Now, if you listen to Akpala, you know this is a genre. Nothing sounds like it. If you listen to Fuji, even when Fuji, even when um, by 90, late nineties, when like you know, remember when we interviewed Clarence Peters and he said there yeah. was this. Um, 60, 60, 69, 91 era of, or 79, 91 era of Fuji, where there were two intersecting eras of Fuji, yeah. and the sounds were entirely different. Yeah. When Kwamon was mixing Fuji with EDM, it was yeah. mixing Fuji with pop music, mm-hmm. and everybody was Americanized. P- um, Puff Daddy became, um, 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 Puff Daddy. Pasuma Sorry. became African, African Puff, Puff Daddy. Daddy. Um, Shanko Rashidi became African Little Bawa. Do you understand? And the sounds were changing in real time. People were rapping on those types of sounds. When Ar- Muslim Ariana Shola wanted did a remix of My Idea, Kini He had a rap verse. When Dele Ojo wanted to do a remix of Abao, he had a rap yeah, verse. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, so even when those sounds were changing, the, sa- the, 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 the DNA remained the, the same. The core elements remained the same. Now, the problem with Afrobeat artists is when they now wanted to create a genre, you could see the lack of education. You can't create a genre. You can't just slap a name on something and say you create a genre. If you want to create a genre, you have to actually create a sound. You must like, be well versed in music. You have to music. be well versed in music. And let's be honest, AOT, right now, it would take a genuinely great artist to create sound. Yeah. Music has kind of picked. You have to be a musician. You have to be understand a it. genuinely great artist. To create genre, genre is not just I can put a name on. It. It's not a name. You can't slap. You can't slap. On it. Like all of you were just creating sounds that had existed. You are slapping names on them. Like you can't. It's not the name. It's the sound. It's the DNA that you are. That that the genre is. Now, Afrobeat artists now, they, when that one didn't enter, like you had Bonner saying that he was the originator of Afrofusion. I don't even know what that means. Are you the originator of the word? Are you the originator of the Pop- sound? He popularized the word. 
I don't even think he popularized he the word. Do you know why he didn't popularize guys, the word? Guys, Lagbaja, in, Lagbaja in the late 90s. In modern Afrobeats. Black in, Magic called it Afrobeats before he did. Afrofusion. I mean, Afrofusion before he did. And I hear you, but I'm saying that did, did Burner Boy make Afrofusion a word? Wait, no, wait, sorry. Let me, let me land now. The labeling of a genre... Afrofusion, the Burner Boy popularizes it and puts it at the forefront when it comes to modern Afrobeat conversation. There, there, is, there is the part of, sorry, sorry guys that I'm talking a lot. There is the part no, of not. some, oh? No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> there is the part of someone creating a sound mm -hmm. and, I mean, creating the, the most, pop, it became the most popular artist that was calling his sound Afrofusion. So he popularized yes. the and sound. And incidentally, Yes, he crossed over with the sound. Yes, but, we'll give an hour. Yes, he did. But the one thing that I also want to point out about that is, if you are going to say you are making a genre, you created a genre, like, people were arguing sometime with me on, on Twitter that he didn't say that he created Afrofusion. Yes, he, he said he created. He said it. He said, no, he said my music is Afrofusion. No, no, he said no, no, I no. created Afrofusion. Mm -mm. He said I, think I, I remember. created I, I it. Remember. I watched, I still, the court is still on my Twitter. I will find it for you. He okay. said, my sound is Afrofusion. I created it. You can't create Afrofusion. I think Afrofusion. he meant I create, I coined, I think what he was trying to say no, is no, that no. I popularized No, 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 no. He said I created it. Okay, fine. But he did popularize the, the name Afrofusion. Maybe. Hey. That's yes. arguable, but it's okay. I can give him that. It's fine. Now, the other part is Afrofusion is not a set genre. It's not a set sound. It's a philosophy. It's a philosophy. It's an approach to, an approach to making music. It's fusion of African Afro, sound yeah. with foreign elements, with any elements, basically. Elements, yes. Do you understand? African sounds have a unique DNA, which is the percussion. The perco there is no percussion in the world that sounds like African music. Like, everybody in the world... If you hear African music, you know it's African music. You might not know it's Fuji or Juju or Amapiano or Kupé de Kali, but you know that this thing is uniquely African. The DNA is African because of the percussion and the arrangement and the progression. Now, the reason why we couldn't export the music as all of these things is because we're exporting to a different audience that is not an African audience. And the audience that we're exporting to is an audience that they don't understand or care. What they are going to call it is African music. Even yeah. till now, they still call it African Africa music. Africa is a country, no? Africa mm. is a country. Yes, it is. You understand? <laughs> like, do you know how rich our music is? In Nigeria alone, we have like 40 genres that me alone I know. Yes. About 40. In my home, in my hometown, in my, in my, um, in my parents' home state, which is a, a, a state, I know about 10 genres of music that sound different. Do you understand? Like, if, if you want to now, I can't be explaining that to a white person. And be telling them, oh, this is Akiri, this is Lodole, this is... Like, the guy cannot process it. Can't. I can't tell you, especially when the sounds sound the same to him. There's a reason why they, they can distinguish between Amapiano and everything. Because Amapiano is a set genre. Long drums and all that. It's a set. It has a unique DNA. Okay, guys. You understand? So, no, no. So, before, so part of the reasons why... So, even reggaeton that you're calling reggaeton. Hmm? I listened to an episode, I said, I said it several times, on podcast, where... What we call reggaeton Latin pop, there are different names. Even the even the Amapiano we do in Nigeria and what we do in South Africa, they are totally different. Do you understand? They are different, different names. Different names. They, have. they yeah. are different names. Different. So, but because you have to export it, you need to put a thing on it and then there's a fire on it so that it's going to be easy for people to be able to export and understand it. That's why it happened. Like they say, that's why. Um, the AOT2 or SAGs, all of they rejected the Afrobeat genre because at the time everybody was looking at this is a disservice. But part of the reasons why the so sound has been successful is, is because there's um, an umbrella term, term that people can associate And that's and why a lot of articles that came out, even to today, Fela is mentioned because yeah, Fela yes. is the lowest hanging fruit for any white, white man. Yes. Oh, yeah, I know Nigeria. And, yeah, Fela, 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 Fela yeah. Kuti. Yeah. That's all you know. So Fela you Kuti. have to write Fela Kuti there. Yeah. Okay, so. but guys, on the conversation where Tanani mentioned that there are two distinct genres that were made out of Nigeria, when you mentioned Africa. I said that. that, 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 that founders, that, known yeah, founders. You know, known founders. founders. What about Akpala? What about Juju? Those are more of communal things because music can be created by an individual yep. mm -hmm. or be created by a community, community during mm -hmm. a set period of time mm -hmm. where people are experimenting with music. Mm -hmm. So I think those ones were more of communi communal discoveries okay. than saying one man did one thing or or one, one yeah. man okay created. If you know the story of Fela, you know that he started even, okay. He started with jazz. Jazz didn't work for him. He tried high life. Ghanaian guys were kicking his ass. He went to America. Hunger caught him. Yeah. Okay. And after that frustration, he created Afrobeat. Yeah. But is that as a result of poor documentation? Like in that, terms of what? Like in terms of like the other genres that we do not know, we do not necessarily so know again, who that's pioneered what he's it. That's what he's saying. 
Like for example, in my in my father's hometown of Ikoriki, mm, mm-hmm. there are different sounds. Mm-hmm. Like in the in the home where my father is from, there's a sound that's come from there. They have a sound, literally. Now those things were created off. They were they they, they were taken off like sounds like Akpiri. That's like the sound of the town. Do you understand? Like a twist of that sound. Mm-hmm. So. It's very hard for you to say someone created it, especially when the person that sat down to maybe carve it, carve, carve out the thing, never really put his name on it. Exactly. So Do that's documentation. So it's very possible. It might be documentation, or it could be something that we just walked into because human existence. Who created? Who created? Who created? Lith- who discovered lithium ion? Like, okay, maybe we know that. But yeah. who created? Who was the first person that made half shoe? Because you wear half shoes. So you know that yeah. African history is oral history. Yeah. So it's hard for us to say we're yeah. yeah. But I can bet you if you go on the internet and you do your research, mm-hmm. you will see a lot of answers to a lot of questions you have about Yeah. Because I, I yeah. know that for for that for the Apala sound, there's, there's an Ayinla. Ayinla 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 Mawura. And yeah. Is Ayinla Mawura the or the pro, the progeny of, of Apala music? I, I don't know. I, don't, I have I don't to go and check so. on that thing. I don't you, think so. There's also a Yusufu. No. The, I think the biggest artist, the biggest proponent of Apala music was Arun Aishola. Arun Aishola. Okay, cool. So basically, so for the Afrobeat artists, do you think that um, the conversation where they are saying stuff like they want the world mm-hmm. to be aware of other genres that are in Nigeria outside of Afrobeat is also a reason why they are very vocal no. about the fact that artists are saying stuff like Wait now, artists are saying stuff like, I just don't do Afrobeats. Because if we should take Whiskey, for example, in his, like, when people are saying that, oh, Essence should have been in the R&B category. Yeah. I don't think that's a wrong ask. It's not a wrong ask. But my problem is, if you are flexing on the Western world, flex on the Western world, do not flex with us Nigerians at the end of the day. Because when you come, you promote, when you come to Lagos, 30 December, you flex an Afrobeats culture. So you cannot tell me you don't want to do R&B. No. It's, I think most of them are just a little bit misguided in what they are doing. Okay, you are doing... You say you want to do R&B, but you've not pushed R&B in Nigeria. Okay? You've not helped anything create the genre stand alone. I think one of the problems is that a lot of genres do not have a standalone presence in the mm-hmm. country. Mm-hmm. So it's bass bass, bass bass, bass bass. If you are an R&B guy, give us a true R&B album now. Like, just don't forget that for They can argue that Made in Lagos and Molof Less Lagos are... Ill- Ill- Those Ill- were albums. R&B yeah. albums that tilted towards the London UK scene. Thank and that's why his last two albums Afro-Sumed. are worshipped in UK. Yep. In, in Lagos or in Damatru or anywhere. They'll be like, yeah, we, we, we know... Superstar is what they know. We know Essence, but when the DJ plays Ojoel Bashita, you are calling to that's something true. that we know. Yep. But so those guys actually still do like those other genres that they say that they do. Do you know why, do you know why Afrobeat is this way? It's because... Now, nah, this is going back to why it's a culture. The mentality of a Nigerian singer is that I must succeed at all costs. Yeah. So I must know different styles as yeah. many as possible. It's yeah. now with the streaming era that people are saying, no, I'm, I'm chilled, I do me tempo. Back then, you had no choice. If you listen to Peace Square, they were doing Two Face, they were doing, they were doing everything people. because anything that's, could stick yeah. at the end of the day. And that was, well, that's why Afrobeat is shapeless because it's a mentality of I'm a hustler. If I do this and it doesn't work, I do this, it doesn't work, one will catch fire. And I keep doing it and I keep doing it and I keep doing it. And that is why they know how to blend very well. But with saying R&B, I, maybe it's part of the roller plan. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But also, then there's a conversation around like Nigerian artists. I saw AOC tweet where they said that my sound is not Nigerian; it's not a flair. Oh no, yeah. No, let's before we even get there, <laughs> we need to finish this whiskey conversation. It's a long. Let's not. No, no. And he said more than that. The idea, but he said he said more than that. Yeah. And he was going on some. I just summarized. Papa and Mama thing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um. My biggest problem, my biggest grouse with people. Here's the thing. I think people, I, I hate it when people come out and say, and they can do anything they, they, they want to do now. No. I also hate it when people actually. are saying, yeah, do you understand? You can do anything you, you want. want to do, yeah. But I hate it when people are coming out to say, I can call my music anything it you is. You can't. You can't. But you can do anything you want to do. You can do. do anything you want to do. But here's the problem. You can't tell me what you are doing. If it's not what you are doing. Just do it. <laughs> do you understand? I don't know where you from. You want to make R&B? 
Make R and B. Caesar can't call herself an Afrobeat artist. And this R and B that so the way he, the way he was positioned the R and B was like, oh, I'm doing R and B music. You've never heard that shit before in your life. The reason Bro, why we have not heard because of Afrobeats. First of all, Afro Plantation Afro Boys have a classic R and B R and B album. Body and Soul, yep. Star Plus made university girls go crazy in campuses. I can't wait to get to Star Ladies were trained yeah. on speakable things I can't even mention on this podcast. I <laughs> but please, you can't when, mention. When Star Plus... Hey, one of the couple. biggest Afri Nigerian songs of all time is This Not Temptation. Apart from that again, um, play. Yes, first album. First no, album. Second album. Second album. Bro, that was pure um, banky strong thing. Yeah. Ooh. So let's not have it as if... No, don't act as if I am Bro, in the Dariata early Atalade. in the Ooh. early two phase, in the early nine ten years of the first two phase, so. yeah, two, two phase. phase. The, the most yes. iconic, one of the most iconic Nigerian African songs of queen. all time is, is an R&B song. Yeah, so this R &B. idea of oh R&B, bro, we were, we are raised off R&B. We yep. know yes, what R&B is. And yes, then yes, another yes. thing is, there's now other interpretations of R&B. There's a Latin interpretation of R&B. Yes. There's a Nigerian, there's an African interpretation of R&B. Yeah. Even at Amapiano, Piano, I can hear R&B influences in Amapiano. Yes, piano. plenty. Like, um, Kevin Momo, for example, does, like, there are some songs that you can literally hear the ballad R&B influences. Aboku Sela is... Try and don't sing is, well. Yeah. I have a voice. It's allowed, it's allowed. Anyway. And also, there's another conversation that, that there's another. No, um, no, ju just let long me live Afrobeats. Let me round up. Let 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 long live Afrobeats. So, if you want to do it, the, another problem I have with them is they want to put it in conversation that they are not this thing, but they don't understand the disadvantages of that. Yeah. They don't care. I understand it because you're also trying to protect your head and move forward. But the door that allowed you to get in, you are rejecting it, and the younger people that need to jump on that door. For them to succeed, you are closing it. Whiskey didn't sell three nights at the O2 because because you are because of an of Afro. Nigga, you are doing you are doing Afro of Afro beats. You did Afro beats, my yes, nigga. Yeah. So on the back of Afro beats. So I, I I need guys to understand the, that actions have impact. And another problem I have with them is, if you now want to go and do the R and B, the African influences are going to overshadow the R and B. Uh -oh. So now they are going to cause your Afro beats still. <laughs> and then, now, if you now want to abandon it and do R&B like Caesar, you are going to get lost in the source. And the awards and everything you are looking for, they are not going to pick you over because the traditional Because a lot of people don't know that the flex so, right after this is exportable. It's, it's because, because of that it's different. thing you are saying. Not because <sighs> you sound, you are trying words like them. Nah, yeah. fam. But, but guys, I'm going to say that on the conversation where Tolani said that if you want to do R&B, we're just using R&B as the poster or any other genre, any other foreign genre that you Asper. want to do. Um, if you want to do Af if you want to do R and B like Caesar, that you might get lost in it because you can be because you might want to go and do African. You want to go and no, do you want that. to do if you want to so, do, you want to do. No, no, no. Uh, I know I can. Wait, lose. wait, wait. Let me uh, let wait, me explain. Can't wait, do it better wait, sorry, than Caesar. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that if you think you can do it better than Caesar, then do it. Exactly. I, and also the conversation where the, where people are saying things like the reason Afrobeat artists are saying they are not Afrobeat artists is because they don't put in a box. I hear that, but nobody can put you in a box as if an you artist. Are not in a box. If you do not put yourself exactly. in a box, I'm going to give a practical example. Like now, Beyonce dropped a country album, a country leaning album. She didn't come to tell us. In fact, she, she released a say post anything. saying that the album is not a country album. People are the ones saying it's it is a country, country album, album because, because we know it's a country album. Before that, she gave us, you know, electronic music with Renaissance. So if you do not want, and she has done R and B albums, she's she has done, done rap, she's she has done rap, she has done rap, she has done, she has done Afro beat, she has she done Afro beat, she has done a um, an, uh, you know hip hop album or like hip hop music with her with um, rap music with her husband. She has done, she has tried different genres. Guess what? She had so, a fella themed album to scratch. That they, they, they have not released. So guess what? If you as an artist do not want to put in a box, just drop the music. The fans we will tell you. you. Not even, they will even tell you. They will even like, fight us and say, is this is R&B. This is country. You don't but, even have to tell us that it is a genre. When we hear the music, we, we, will, sing, know. we will know. It's not ah. in controversy but you know the crazy thing. Oh. You know the crazy thing? Right, you say you want to do R and B or any foreign genre better than those people. Genres are products of the community we are raised in. Thank you. Right, yeah. you know, bro. I don't care whether you have quadruple etondre, whatever, whatever. <laughs> you are not a buying Kendrick. It's not unless you now start rapping the way you know how to rap. That's not, what's going to stand you out. That's what's going to stand. And you I guess out. what? The more you do, except people don't know that you are Nigerian. The moment niggas know that you are Nigerian, it begins to be like, mm, mm. you know. 
And that's why I love Jamaica. Jamaicans, on head. Yep. Jamaicans will never ever you've never you've never heard of a Jamaican rapper before. Because a Jamaican rapper is a dancehall artist. Even when Sean Kingston was still was making pop interpretations of that sound, your way to be that's Caribbean music. That's the Caribbean, Caribbean music. music. But is this also understand. like a community thing? Like I feel like is there like lack of is it so Nigerian artists Afro don't understand. Why do they want to stand they, out? They don't really understand the importance the strength of, of Afro beats. The strength of Afro beats is that anyhowness yeah. is our disadvantage. People move bass bows in random. There is no structure to anything. As you are enjoying a music that has no structure, you are also you are also suffering from the fact that the country and, has no structure. The, the country has no structure, which <laughs> which now affects the music industry and it affects the artists. And the artists are now going off a tangent that is weakening the whole narrative. Yep. So, Afrobeat Legends, is there a thing, you know, for, like, Nollywood, they have this thing, um, actors, like the AGN, is there something like that for me? No, music? we have, we have. A what do you call AGN? Mm. Please forget that. Bodies. So, the problem is, I don't know why it's a black people thing, you know, but the ability to come together and say, this is the agenda for the next 10 years, the yeah, next 15 years. Yeah, a body that comes, like... I always so go back to Korea. Korea did not become the biggest exporter of entertainment, just by... Uh, why should I lie? Because it, no, it's not that. <laughs> they, it's not that. There are governments in the 90s yeah. saw so that we need yeah, to export our music yeah. and our movies, yeah. and they put money into that. Yeah. They were training people, yeah. they built studios, they built. That's why the boys look like dolls. And the training in K pop is not easy. It's not small. I think people yeah. K-pop, there's an article on Vox about K-pop this, but that artists, was but it can like be extreme, though. The yes, can be extreme because they commit suicide. Now, like mental breakdown, today you so. can see. A girl in Ilukweju screaming about BTS. Bro. You can see one small 18 year old girl saying she wants to watch. Typing in Korean too. Yeah, K drama. They're typing K-drama. in Korean. Yeah. yeah. So it's not because of, oh, they were just lucky. There was intentionality. Resources pushed behind. It happened in India too. It happened in China. China, South, South Africa to yep. a certain extent. And we all know America. The reason why America became the world power it is, apart from military strength, is that they say, fuck it. Let's. Let's make it in a way that global pop culture, by default, is American pop yep. culture. Yeah. That's why you saw Black Lives Matter. When a LAPD has never stopped you before. Because you are, you've already watched all the movies, you've watched all the documentaries, you've, you've listened everything. to all the podcasts, yep. and you I believe swear. that. Yeah. So we need like an agenda. Who that person would be now? So basically, we need like a government intervention. So I feel like the government Not just should... a government intervention. Because the government will ask you, okay, bring why? the best of your brains. Together, but we have the best of and the that's the problem because if they're not asking, go there, me, pushing the agenda. Now. If they're asking me, I say, So, I'm the brain, I have the brain, the there's leg. no, but if I just give me 50 billion dollars. You do know, when the body say the leg, the head, the brain, the everything. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so that, that's that's on that conversation now. Since speaking about Afro- long live, Af- long live, Afro beats, Lo- long live, Afro beats, Afro beats to the world, to the world, Since baby, Afro beats to the universe, Afro beats, right? Afro beats pays everybody, oh make God. everybody go. Yes. And please, and please, sorry, mm-hmm. please, I'll just say for 2024. Mm-hmm. If you're inviting me somewhere for a party, ah, please. Lord, Lord. If you know you're going to play my piano for one hour, just tell guys, me to go back cook, to my cook, house. Cook, cook, cook. Shout out to Remy. Oh, cook, cook, cook. But wait, guys. Let's it's, not have... it's not that I hate Afro I, I, I'm a piano. I love it. Oh, but this see? is the hypocrisy of the Nigerian public. First of all, he's elitist. What's he's elitist? He's elitist. I'm a piano? No. Let him break The it people down. who say, oh, we love Amapiano piano because it's different. Yeah, okay. Nigga, it's not different. I hear you. You I don't speak Swahili or Zulu. Like, you. You who says that? You are dancing to the same reason why you dance to Afro beats, which is the beat and the melody. You don't. You can't speak to Mandela's grandchild in the South African <laughs> language. So all that is, 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 is no. Uh, uh, uh. And there's no amount of uh, what's that they say? Well, sir, I mean, uh, what, what's, what's we'll that make you. We we'll make you South, South Africa. I know. You do it too. Edjo, I told you down. Edjo, Edjo. So I remember you said Edjo. Tima, 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 Tima. I beg. I don't. I don't even. I, I don't wait, wait, play me your mouth, please. Thank you. But guys, there's a conversation before we get. No, I want to introduce that conversation. Let me, let me just jump in. No, okay, don't jump in. Don't jump in. Don't jump in. Don't jump in. They're not jumping anywhere. Pause. There's no a video. conversation around Ama Piano and Afrobeat and the culture in Nigeria, the party culture and the party scene, and the DJs, where people are of the opinion that a lot of Nigerian DJs just go to events and they play Ama Piano and they do not focus on playing. But Afrobeat. to be fair to you, to be fair to them, most parties so. just play more Ama Piano to be fair and they to play so. Afrobeat. And there's also a conversation where it feels like AOT. this is also AOT. affecting. So that wait, now you have not. Okay. Not, ah. land, 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 land. Sorry, Ama Paul, land. Ah, and there's also a conversation where they are saying. Ama Paul, where they are saying two conversations, guys, that 
it's also affecting that that the DJs are not doing enough to like discover Afrobeat song that they should play at parties because it's all a conventional way they are saying the Afrobeat song be sounding the same, so they want to yeah. And also like the Afrobeat. Oh, this question you ask now: one A, one B, one C. Yeah, go on. So okay. Is it that they're not doing the job to find? First of all, I don't blame artists. I don't blame the DJs because no DJ out there has said I'm playing at my piano one hour, two hours, and they're playing to an empty room. There are people actually listening to that shit. Yep. They're invested in it, even yeah. though it's the beat they are listening to. Even though Nigerian Nigerian DJs, only a few of them are. Genuinely good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are my piano selection. Shout out to DJ. Shout out to DJ Obi. I've heard his. What's the one that DJ that was at Shiva's Mansion party last year? I don't know. I wasn't at that ah, party. I can't remember. Ah! Secondly, that do you know why the Nigerian crowd has gravitated towards Amapiano? Amapiano. Piano? Yeah. Because what made Afrobeats Afrobeats our artists stopped doing it. The bangers, the bedu. Yeah. For some reason, everybody now wants to meet tempo. Me tempo. We are good. Nigga, give me race roll. Give me those kind of records that when you hear it, the speaker is shaking. Yeah. That when you come out, you're sweating. Yeah. That was the beauty in Afrobeats. All of a sudden, we kind of felt that, no, we need to write more, which is not bad. You can be lyrical, but she give us that shit and they stopped. And that is why Ashake blew. Because Ashake... Tani, 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 go down, say. Ashake took our piano, gave her the Naja style of it, and he was doing dance records to the end. With Fuji. And I thought that Fuji you want to show that you're a singer, you want to, you know, you want to hit that high note, you want to... Nobody bro, cares. Bro, Afrobeats is beat. Nobody cares. Afrobeats is beat on the skin. The biggest Afrobeats song of song of all time is literally, uh, "Baby, calm down, calm down, get this your body." Your is is Afrobeats is beat on escapism, right? I want to enter a place and get and forget. That is all. Play me that banger. That is all I want to hear. But because now make a stream international audience, you want to package like we too, we too, we too. I can write like Justin Bieber now. If you write like Justin Bieber, but do we care? When the DJ now knows of this, DJ doesn't want to play tracks from 2016. Yeah. I mean, why? That guy's in Pretoria, Joe Bog, killing it. Can I give a perspective on that? I think yeah. it's also an incidence of evolution. Yeah. I think there is... Oh, yes, we've evolved yeah, past that. There's, a, there's, there's an incidence of evol evolution in, in terms of... There's the slowing down of, of Nigerian pop music. It's an incidence of the era of like emo music that was popping off some years ago and American po and foreign pop music, not just American pop. And a lot of the things that this, so these kids didn't grow up like us. That we were listening to, oh, Ray Yomo, he won Agani. I like, first time, I'm like, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> do you understand? We, they, they didn't grow up like that, like us. So they, they, they came and slowed it down. Their hits were even more, a little slower. Like, 110, 120 BPM, 130 also, to be BPM. Fair to them, that, that Lamba era of 011, 016 is the bastard. We bastardized exactly. it. We, people were not writing records. People were not writing People shit. were homing. <laughs> Shout out to people. People were homing. I do, I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. In the prayer was off. Yeah. I like the tech. Shout out to the techno. I like the techno set. The king of Lamba. But you know what's funny about techno? Techno is one of the people that have not slowed it down. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes. He, yes, he did. Kiss. But, but his slow down was yeah. still Lamba. Easy. 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 They all said, let's slow it let's down. Let's slow it down. And that was started moving down. away yeah. from those heavy yeah. hitting yes. records. And even, yes. even at the times, uh, those songs still had Lamba. Of like, course not. Like, baby, but you guys can't leave the Lamba. They say, you know, like the they know that that is what... Techno is Lamba. That is the language to the streets. Baba, you know what? You know the song that brought Techno back after? What? I say, what? What? Give it to me, what? Tony will sing that song one Let me tell you something. That song is skeleton. God damn. Lamba is, Lamba is the way the streets will know that. Okay. You are one of us. We understand you. Do you understand? We understand you. Uh, Techno said. Uh, but we don't have many Lamba artists again. Techno said, You are the only one for me. To, 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 to. London girls come whiny for me. <laughs> but but hey, so speaking about not having Lamba artists, I feel like the street pop artists have been able to maintain that Lamba. Oh yeah, no, 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 those boys. No, but no, they no. have. They too are not even doing Lamba like that. Eh? Let me let me tell you why. They are not necessarily Flaky. doing Lamba. They are not necessarily doing Lamba. If you listen to them, they are actually they are, giving, they are talking life. They are giving ghetto gospel. Yes. That's what they call it. Uh, Afro Adura. Afro Adura. That's why they, they call it. They are actually saying a lot of yes. stuff. Yes. The fact is that a lot of people. Pardon Mama me. Ready. Can't cross over the Tommy Land because they feel the Tommy Land is that place in Lion King. By the way, Adia, yeah, 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 if you are Adria. listening to this episode, write an article on Afro Adura. Someone needs to. Eoti, have you written an article? No, on I haven't Adria. done that. Eoti, no, Adia, you should be the one to write it. <laughs> yeah, but Afro Adura boys actually sing about the parts we don't talk about in. When yeah. we, you know, when we are celebrating 30 December. Yeah. You know, 30 December is a trifecta of Lekki VI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you know, thank God they've done light on the Tommy Land. You know, when you pass Tommy Land, yeah. those areas. 
uh -huh, where the real music is coming from. People don't talk about that stuff, and you know, it's just a shame. And today, today said something about another branch of. Uh, um, he called it Mama said music. Yeah, Mama said. Because their mommy is always saying something. Their mother is the biggest. Their mommy, their mommy is something. the biggest. My mama said spiritual advisor. And I listen to my mommy <laughs> like it's, it's their like, mommy is always saying. When I go, when I go to my mama said shop, music, right, and he plays like he puts on audio mark. It's just Afro. Hey, Uti, thank you very much. It's Afro. And do you too. know? Do you know how insane it is that? You have to be a music head to know like the genuine Afro Afro addresses. There are many die. Yeah, the ones that they have a they have a fan base. They've done shows. I, I, they don't I, work I, in capacity. There's one knows, time like you don't know them. And yeah. I think this is a general thing. I, I feel like this conversation of not knowing these artists, except you're a music thing. I think that the artists that suffer that the most are the street pop artists. Because a lot of times, people always assume that nobody knows these guys. I remember when Shea Vibe started blowing up on Twitter. People were like, nobody yeah, like knows him. New, that, people bro, like, who is this you know guy? Who Shea and his fans used to come out and say, we, uh -huh. are you joking? Like, he's been killing so, shows in them. that part of the industry hasn't been highlighted. Is, is it elitism? Yeah. That is, yes. I mean, no, um, a bit. Like, shout out, shout, out, shout, out to, shout out to someone like Dapper, for example. So oh, Dapper, the pop daddy of the, the streets. <laughs> what, did, what did that guy call him again? Oh, um, I don't call, don't call him Dapper. No, in recent, in recent allegations. <laughs> Puff Daddy, PDD, DD, Sean love, Combs, Brother Love, Sean John, Brother Love, Money, uh, Baba Chance, <laughs> Baba Twins, all of them. But right guys, the, so the question I asked back, back to the question of the I'm a piano, African, yeah. I'm a piano and DJ. So what's what's um what was the question again? Sorry, also shout out to the DJs because yeah, when artists started no having when the artists artists started having crazy invoices, they needed to have. Yeah. And somebody <laughs> performing. And a moment the, of silence. And, and, the, <laughs> and the Nigerian DJ stepped up and said, look, you don't need... We don't, see, moment Baba, of silence. You don't need to drop 300k dolls. I give got me, you. Give me three uh, <laughs> cook, 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 And people cook, cook, dance from cook, beginning cook, to That's why you see people like Dope Caesar coming out from nowhere. She's really dope. I can Come see on. events. DJs, DJs are now headlining their yeah. own events. Yeah. Because... That and is, these DJs but, be dancing but while this, they are performing. They are giving us a full show. They won't dance. I can't wait till Uncle Waffles they do for South Africa. Have you seen Uncle Waffles? Even Uncle Waffles on the rap now. Big Waffles, Cream of the Crap. By the way, that's a bar, though. Wani, Wani, and Andy. Wani and Andy. Those guys are very entertaining. And now you look at the artistry behind DJs now. They are actually doing the job. Some of them are also hyping. So DJs are not talking about wordplay. Yeah. Transition. So should the DJ stop playing their piano songs that passes? No, they can't. No, they can't because they need to be booked, man. I think it's from the... You shouldn't go back to playing only Afro beats. That's why I'm going back to that same question. Where are the Lamba records you want to play from 12 to 6 that are not throwbacks? So it's not the just for the artist's so fault. Lamba can give us Lamba. Another, another, thing, also that, the another thing that I've noticed about Nigerian music is a lot of the DJs are simply not good. The DJs are not good? A, a lot of them. Ah, we have a lot of good ones, Tolani. I, I said a lot. A lot can be good, but a lot of them are I've not heard good. trash, too. Do you understand? I've heard like, trash. Like from the way you go even mix when you're the pick, I don't know. No. You, want, <laughs> you know when you want no player when you juggle ball first. I, like the ones that are good when they get on the on the like I can't remember that guy's name that, that was at Shiva's. Yeah. Hey, Oti, did you see Melody at Shiva's fashion party last can year? Can we not do? At least saw the please. you saw the videos. Saw the oh, oh my God! God. Melody the, went on stage. Woman, no? Yes, went on stage, stole the mic. I was high. I literally became okay. the hype woman. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, there's some DJs I know that if a DJ has a bad set. You just need to call, please come on stage <laughs> now. Do you understand? Shout out to Titanium. Do you understand? You're DJ I, Tobad. It was, it was that his name? No, 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 but no. DJ Tobad is one of you guys. Good. Hey! Anyway, um, I can close my eyes and say, Titanium, just give me one hour. Titanium will not even play Zimbabwe song. They're going to reach like, South Africa. Back to back. It's going to knock Transitions. By the time you finish, people beg you, don't go. Like that was what happened to Melody. And Melody don't drink. <laughs> you understand? You don't drink. Like the shivers on the Sisu ah, like XB. Don't they, they, don't they knock her for so? Like by, by the time they knock, what, what song did they knock Melody? Get out. Um, Koshi. Ko, ko wale, ko dro, it's okay. Run on stage. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. But so, so now, basically. Some of the DJs. So, uh, uh, one thing about. I think because there's a demand, so everybody yeah. wants to rush into it. Also, or it's just easy to make people dance on my piano. Do, no. Some people don't do what they call freedom. They don't go by DJ sets. Baba, yeah. you can't play for us. You don't understand it. You don't understand. Because your friend is telling you that, that mix center. Can you do it on a cold, on, on a cold night in Ikorodu? Go to, bro, <laughs> go to, go to all those, eh, uh, eh, uh, uh, I live on shop, I live on shop, she's can you, come shit here, that would be. Go on, they say, can you, I'll be shit here. They say, keep it cuckoo, cuckoo. Hello, 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 cucko
just unplug your DJ. Don't Hello, don't plug Shelly for me. Don't say no party. Don't say no party. Don't say no party. Don't say DJ. Lord, don't do that. You never bother again. Don't Lord, don't do that. Guys, nah. But I can't lie. Flaky, Mama Shewa ready. That song. Do you know that song? No, no. Why are you pretending? You know that song. Why are you pretending? No, I'm sure that you know. No, but I told you that Shey vibes. That that album died. Oh, okay. That's And why you? I was raving about that album. Like, shout out to the shout out to all the goodies. Did you see the way he mentioned Migos? Migos. Offset. Migos. That song. I was just like, who is this guy? Take me picture. I was like, those are the rock stars of Nigerian music. Yeah, they are the rock stars. That's the way they dress. The problem is now that there is no pipeline for them to blow. Outside. outside. But once somebody can come up with a narrative, which, that's why you have to respect Skepta. What Skepta did for Portable? Big Spoke, Pelu, we, 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 we talked about for five Tony, years. Tony. Um, why are we seeing there's, there's been no hits in this country when that song has existed? That song did. That's 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 that song did. That's 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 so we'll come back. No, we've had hits. We've had hits. They've not just been like, a break. Run out ground, shake the ground. Exactly. Big exactly. Smoke, exactly. Tobacco, no, Tolani. No, but wait. We'll it was come good. Back. It was it's a good jam. We'll come back. We're going on a break. We're going on a quick break. And when we quick, come quick, back, quick. we're going to go into the conversation about if we've had like a hit song. We're not going on a quick break this no, time. I know now. Break off the TV. Guys, we're about to go on a break, break right on now TV. on TV. Yeah. In case you're watching us. Whatever conversations you guys have missed, you're going to catch it on wow. Monday. It comes out on every platform. Wow. Um, YouTube, anywhere you get your podcast. But in the meantime, Spotify, conversations are going to continue Apple. on the podcast. Conversations are going to continue on the podcast. And keep um, stay tuned to us. This episode was brought to you by Shivas Rigo. So wait, now let's 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 go into that conversation of if we've had a hit song in 2024. We've had let's hit not songs. be dishonest. I, we've, we've had hit songs in 2024. Mention the hit songs. But they've not been able to captivate like um culture totally. I think I think so part of the problem is like we're having a conversation with Mr. Wandi as well before we jump on the pod. The 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 the, the 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 consumption the consumers are now fragmented. They are fragmented. Like in every silo of consumption, there is a fragmentation. Like there are even even the radio silos, there are people that only listen to night radio. Mm-hmm. There are people that only listen to drive time radio. There are people that only listen to morning radio. In the DSP conversation, there are, only, there are people that only listen to Audio Mac. Shea Vibes is the most streamed artist ever on Audio Mac, right? Like what you're saying is actually correct because some people will tell you, oh, Love Me Jaja is a hit. Nah. No, for them. I'm saying for them. Uh, no, but that's the guys. They, they I, be, I feel like what they, Tolani. very funky. I, tell, I feel like wow. what Tolani and I think what both of you are saying, I, I feel like you guys are being okay, dishonest what's the, with the song, conversation. Song hits. When okay. we say a song is a hit song, you don't debate if it's a hit song. Melody. For example, songs Fair like Ga is undebatable. When Pana drops, it's undebatable. You know the problem. Nine, you let know me, the let me, do you know that there are times when. But me, times are different, though. Do you there also know the problem? Let me tell you the problem. Wait, Nayot. There are times when a song, the BPM of a song, is too so slow or is too so fast for a particular time. Not on really. Radio. On oh, radio. Okay, okay, on radio. So, of course, radio is all about BPM, so you all know that one. Exactly. But the song will be such a bedu. That your fans will be asking you for it, that you might even See, just give them the instrumental. I'm going back to that same issue. And there. guys, we need, to have, we need to have another conversation. Whoa. Wait, can I just interject? Before, before you know interject. what I was saying. I know what you want to say. Before Leave I interject, it. can I interject? Leave it. We are producing artists that cannot um, command a true national cultural presence anymore. Everybody's doing their own thing. And that's, and that's why. That's why the big three are still enjoying. That's why Kiss Daniel will continue to continue. Be but because, that guy is a witch. He's a because wizard. Kizania knows that he's singing for the whole of Nigeria and not just for a particular sector of people. Some people like this. I'm Melody, singing for baby show that... wakba is not a hit. Show wakba show wakba is not a hit. Is it? Show is it? Is it? Is it? He try. Is it? Pana. He try. He try. Hey, is show okay? Show why buga? No. But it's still a hit. It doesn't have to be a Buga. To be but we've also had a conversation but Twetwe, about hit. Twetwe is not as big a hit as Buga. That's what we're saying. That this song, these songs Twetwe enter, but there's a, there's a global hit when it comes to So we're having hits, but we're not having like mega, like. Yeah, that touches smash. everywhere. Like, smash. like for example, this IOMAF song is a hit. Bro, in the trenches. It's a hit. In the trenches. So. But no, it's moving, it's moving beyond the trenches. Jordy, you make me emotional. Has it crossed the When you see me on Instagram. What what it, what is Instagram. It's a hit. What Fuka Akidele did will make it a smash hit for him. Yeah. Because yeah. she, she put it up. So it will be yeah. a smash hit for him. Um, that's um, uh, Moise. It's a hit. Um, Big Smoke Pelu Tobacco is the closest thing we've had to a smash this year. It closes. But we're all saying the same that this song scratched the surface. Ah. But they didn't get to like the global... 
I've told you that. All the, Koma I, is I, a hit now. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to he Mr. Of round of Ola applause Wande, Wande. who is the marketing activations <laughs> manager at Shivas Rego. Our people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Is he? <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. So, that the conversation about not having like a global mega super hit conversation is like very valid. Guys, you know who I'm missing? Do you know who I'm missing? Please give me a second. Um, guys, welcome back to the Zero Conditions podcast. Mm -hmm. The number one show on late night TV in Nigeria. Yeah, I said it. Number one podcast. Number one TV show. Everything. Number one podcast. The charts are... I, know you I don't care what the charts are saying. Fuck the charts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever you missed during the break, you can catch it on Monday out on all the podcast platforms. YouTube, Spotify, um, anywhere you get your podcast, you can find it there. This episode is still brought to you by Shivers Rigo. As we are here, you can see that we are drinking the XV. Looking good, isn't it? Looking good, actually. Oh, do of you course. know what wounded you last year? <laughs> do you know the biggest song out there? Yeah. Let me try and look for it. I mean, this year. But the song has been, is on release. Yeah. Let me look for it. On release. Yeah. I think I know the song. But everybody's singing the song. Oh, you just have to. You just have to make the Ashake. When that song comes out, God damn. That but, song is doing a madness on TikTok. Already. Is that the song I want to play? No, it's not this. Sorry. What? Okay, yeah. Fuji, super extravagant. Fuji, and this is how Fuji artists used to name yeah, the album. song. They just big words. <laughs> I'm not going to give myself credit, but I'm going to give myself credit. For right. what? Now you do this song. I called it. I beg you. Let me tell you Bro. something. Have you heard the song? Of course I've heard it. AOT knows song. what I'm about to say. That I am, I am, I am the guy. The only I am guy. the man. You understand? The I told guy, you people... The only guy I know is M.I. Oh, congrats to you. Punchline. No. Me, I, have to, I told you people that the, the person that does hit and apart. There's a reason why today, now today, is about to become... The, that song initially last year. Um, apart Disco now. Okay, 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 okay. Like this song when it comes out, like I, I respect the rollout. I respect you know another rollout that I respect. Which one? Odumodu Industry Machine. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the next When album. that song comes out. Oh the song, I Gabby. Mean. When the song comes out. Oh, I mean, have you heard Industry Machine. Hey, hey. Anyway, speaking about no, that, no, no. so why, a song why are you shorting? Uh, do you hate Odumodu? A song dropped. Do you hate Odumodu? Go and die with your agenda. I will, like, I will give it to Jesus. Name. I will not die the or live agenda. in the mighty name like, of Jesus. Care, everybody care, that wish me Lord. dead, who cares about everybody that wish me dead, for that I will die. see them dead, and I will live. Die, 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 die. Anyway, so speaking about Otomodu, <laughs> what where were we before then? We're talking about um, talking hits, about hits. hits. So there have been there have been hit songs now. Maybe. I think Big Smoke was not hit say. songs, songs that scratch the surface, but we've not had the two. There be, there, there be we've four, not had the two. Four play like. We you understand? It's, it's touching the. Omo, did you guys hear this song on Shea Vibes' mixtape? Born in a Gatti. Born in a Gatti. The last one. Gatti, no. No. It was like the fifth. Or no, the sixth. guys, the guys uh, work ethic is too much for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. But guys, seriously, a song dropped, the Olufumi reimagined. Speaking about now that you mentioned the Dumodo. Oh my God. The Olufumi reimagined song drop. And that's, what, agenda not key, you remember. that's what everybody has been talking about. I don't have to do an agenda because I'm just here talking about everything that is trending. The Olufumi reimagined song dropped, and everybody, have you heard? Todani has heard the song. AOC, you too. I heard the song weeks ago. Because Nobody I am cares. Who I the am. song is that you have heard. We don't care where you heard I it. Am who I am. The song Maybe is out. It's not who my fault that them? you are not connected to the culture. I don't care. It's not my like, fault. It's not my fault. Like, are you it's not my fault that the culture what, doesn't. Your question. It's not my. Like, it's not my fault that, that the culture ago. doesn't care about you. I don't care about you either. It's not my fault that the culture doesn't love you. Who gives a damn? It's not my fault that the culture. Does it care about your opinion? As your opinion giving us this song. Ah. So, bro, do you, oh. do you understand the amount of <laughs> hit songs that have come from my <laughs> staple? You know who I am. <laughs> Dapa. <laughs> <laughs> Dapa 2.0. So, the Olufumi reimagined. How many hits have come from your staple? Please people? leave me. How many is packeting cabins? Olufumi reimagined, dropped, and people are. Produced I, by, sorry, the great Adikabasa. Ah, literally the Adikabasa. great Adikabasa. Um, and people have been having different opinions about the song. I want, I want to cook you, Sha. Why are you cooking me? What do you think about the song? What do I think about the song? Mm -hmm. it's, a decent, it's a decent remake. Decent? I don't, yeah, I don't think... Adikabasa is an experienced man. I don't think he was looking for a way to recreate the magic Star Plus made. I think he wanted to just make those who don't make know... Make a twist. Those who know Star Plus reintroduce Catalog, like they don't know their game. You don't know Star Plus's game. Reintroduce it with like the most. Reintroduce original Mekoya, right? 
Yeah, Mekoya was like their producer back then. Mm -hmm. I was decent because, you know, you can't outdo the classic, but it was it was high. It was high. I like the selection of artists, you know, Fireboy, mm -hmm. BOJ. Who again was on it? Joe Boy. Joe, Joe Boy. Odumodu. 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 I like the fact that I put Odumodu Black in it. <laughs> because yeah. if I keep putting it OG, Afrobeats, you don't do a pop record without the rap verse. Yep. So it had to be. And, and then the, Olufu, the, original, rapper, the original Olufumi had a remix that was... That yeah, the yeah. yeah, that was featured on their EP way yeah. back then. So, yeah. no, I, I even think the original. Someone, one of them rapped on the original. No, no, was that that's that right? That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back then, you couldn't have a hit without having like a rap verse. But now, so but the, because the, rap is important, except for people in this room that don't give a shit about. What do you think about the song, Tolani? I think it's a great song. What do you mean? What part of it is a great song? Everything. <laughs> Production, the idea, the melodies, easy the song, imagination. Easy, easy you song way. The, the melodies. <laughs> Odomodo's verse. So now, the conversation around Odomodo's verse let's be honest, you and them. is that there's a power where he said the lyrics is strike cam, pierce cam, dagger ram. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Odomodo always trying to dagger? Can I, can I ask you something? <laughs> when you see Odomodo. Use my, he said, use my oh. black man, Bulala. <laughs> Come off my rubber, secure my woman. <laughs> Bar though, bro. Damn, bro. Now I have to ask you a question. I have to ask you a question now. How you, you come don't to the rubber? You don't. Ah, okay. Melody, wait. My my yes or yes. So bad, don't wear. You go so, need to. rubber. You go need to. Yeah. Well, so long as so long as you are coming to the rubber with Consent. everybody, everybody is aware. Do, 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 do you always don't, don't personalize this? I know, no, no, we are going to. Since please. you want to be hypocrite, don't do that. Have, have, you, have, have, you, have you not been daggered before? No. Ask the question, please. When you see Od when you see Odumodu black, when you see Odumodu black, the way he is, his his persona, his aura, his build, his frame, <laughs> his build is does it look like somebody that has, uh, that does is 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 into the art of love making, or into the art of, family <laughs> so you bam bam bam, I just they go bam. <laughs> I want you to <laughs> ask a question. Because even the woman said, I buy you flowers, I take you shopping. One thrust for five minutes. Does that make sense? Does one, it make one sense? One thrust, five minutes. Uh, you know, look at that. One the thrust, they're not looking to your eyes. And this, you cry. this is the IOT saying. Does it, does it look as if it makes me, sex? It makes me remember no, an Odomodu song called Titled Comment. Yeah. When he said, I go pin them to the wall. Consent. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that one, he said consent now. He said consent. He said consent. I think it was after the issue on Twitter. He just said, I bet me I just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 no, he said the first verse. The first verse said concert, concert. Then I said concert. No, but that, that that was really that was really cool that he actually just said that. I thought this is just I'm talking again. This is just I'm talking again. Talking again. But you know the 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 conversation literally is that for me, oh, I think that I like the reimagined song. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. I love what. Like the guys, I love what Joe Boy did on it. I love the budge. Ah, uh -uh, you love it now. I always did. Ah, uh -uh. I always wow. did. I love like even budge so in nice. the car. I think it was it was really pretty. Oh, that's very and nice. even the end of the like the end of the song, I love how they all came together. There's an I don't know how to describe. It's an alto or camaraderie. No, like the, there's a standout voice. I'm not even joking. Yeah. Like they all came together. Like Kabasa, man. Kuka. Yeah, so I really like that. But the part where people, the women are having a conversation, which I think is valid. Like some women. Some women are having a conversation that which I think is because some women like, want to be daggered. Let's 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 put <laughs> every woman wants. You know, when it comes yeah. to love song, they're like, I am thinking about it from a place of collaboration, right? You know, mm -hmm. when you are trying to when you have a song and you're trying to collaborate with other artists and you're trying to reach a particular audience, it's like I have a love song. On a love song, who are the lover boys? I would I would expect to see a Joe Boy on it because Joe Boy appeals to the girls and all of that. And it's like um, Ojumodu. Is on a love song and he's talking about that guy. Why is it a love song? Yeah, why is it? You take it out. I'll come back to this. Yeah, why do? Let me let me ask the question now. Melody, okay, ask ask. No, just she wants to jump. Answer the question. No, ask the question. 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 Ask the that's the conversation on the collaboration. Um, who were the people that enjoyed conditioner, baby conditioner? Hey, Willie, Willie, pra... who were the people that enjoyed it the most? I can't say. Okay, and you were not a party. You know the funny you, thing. You are a You know the people no, that were, were outside in December. Women. I was you were outside in December. <laughs> Even who were Twitter. the people that liked <laughs> conditioner, baby conditioner? Uh -uh. Hey, Willie, Willie, pra... who were the people that liked it more? Bodies. But they were also the ones that complained. I, I you, know the, you know the funny fine. thing? The, there's a hypocrisy okay. online that I have to mention. When Naramali sang, um, so P, 
think pieces, everything, thread, everything came out. Yep. Every party I went to, that the sanction, girls were the ones dancing. It, was, it started dance. from Am I Yao Boy. Then it went no, to. No, that was not sexual. I'm talking about the sexual part. No, this it, it went one to, now. no there was a one that I dropped before Sopi. Okpotoi. Uh, um, Okpotoi. Banga. They had a problem with that one too. No, but, but, they danced with it too. Uh, no, but I think for Sopi, when the conversation was like they were saying that um, men jerking off. But it was women that were jerking off for in, Chrissy. In the party. There's this particular hype man song. Hey, what's that one? Uh, they was talking about Ashana's dress. I've forgotten the model. It was all like eight bars. Hype men were the ones, the two hype men were the ones. I know the song you're talking about. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to hear this conversation about Alani saying hypocrisy, to be honest, when it comes to Guess this. Guess what? That song, when the DJ plays the beat alone, women are very stood up. Nah. They don't stand up for it. But, but let me tell you something. The first rule that we need to understand about music in this country is if the women like it, it's a hit. It's a hit. So that's what it's they are saying. It's general all over the world. Yes. So if that's women what they are like saying it, now, like on this conversation, is like, can we say that the women will want him to be on a love song? But I also so, say that no, I hear Tolani with sorry, Tolani. Let, let me, okay. I, was, I hear, okay. sorry, Tolani, sorry. I hear Tolani when he talks about the hypocrisy when it comes to people criticizing the, what's that song now? Cast. Is that, that's, that's the title, right? Cast. The one that said that. Song of the year. That's what I said. I give them bag, Abi. Who they give back? That's the song, right? If she knows soccer, if, if she, she knows soccer. Uh, hey, yes. The because Atlantic. a lot of people that were criticizing it on social media, like women, we saw some women criticizing it on social media only for videos. videos to go viral. Oh, wow. And it's like, a, you were criticizing it on social wahoo. media and now you're dancing it to it. So it's like, how, even if you're trying to say something, how can they say that you are saying this thing when you feel like you're just saying it on social media? He was dancing, cast the first stone. A Jewish capital said that a long time ago. <laughs> Ilti. Hmm? <laughs> a Jewish capital said that a long time ago. Jewish capital said that? Ah, uh-uh. you don't know the Jewish capital. Who is the Jewish capital? There's only one Jewish capital now. But yeah, so yeah. The problem is, online, mm. so there's a culture of opinions. Opinions are very cool to give these days. Everybody wants to have an opinion. And that's, no, that's the number one problem. And now Elon Musk has monetized opinions. Either they are stupid or not stupid. That's the number two problem. The number three problem is a lot of people can't think for themselves. There's a lot of head mentality with the opinions that are being given. So the people that are giving the opinions are then become victims of the stupidity of of their own inability to be able to segregate sense from what is not sense. Now, the number four part of that conversation now is people would have given, like, when, so there's a culture, most people on social media are betas, right? They don't have the mind of their own. Whatever the bigger people say, whatever opinion they come up with is what they're going to run with. Only a few people have the ability to discern. Discernment is very uncommon on social media. Twitter, for example, is the microcosm of the Nigerian society, which shows why Niger- we have not been able to elect a great president till now. <laughs> elect any great person. You understand? So, when people see a big influencer do something, especially from the perspective that they can relate to, all they are going to do is run to this thing until someone says... And they, and they drill down. This... One, this thing doesn't make sense. So a lot of them have given opinions on social media. When they now go and listen to the song and they realize, ah, I'm on a jam. And now, those people that are already mindless, they are going to be mindless again when it comes to the fear of missing out. Because now, conditioner, Bobby, Billy Willy practitioner is massive on the streets. Now, they also want to be a part of that. They want to be part of it on TikTok. They, when their friends are chanting it, they don't want to be left out all of a sudden. Even my friend here, I have video evidence of where... Wawu. Yeah. Of I have what? video evidence. Of what? Don't calm worry. Down, calm down. You can say rough for governor. Calm down. Don't worry. That don't worry. Video On the what? day that you test me, I will just... I will just toss I don't, You don't have any video. Post it if you have okay, it. Okay, don't worry. Like. Roll um, out. Now, um, I... The Odomodu verse that they are talking about. First is first. I'm not making music for you to be happy. I'm making music that's going to sell. Or for your approval. Or for your approval. You don't really matter in the grand scheme. You were complaining about cast while the song was blowing up and making millions of streams. Right? And you were having problems while the person was speaking in real life. The second part of this conversation is, oh, it's about Daga. Can't you see the parallels between how cast blew up and how the song blew up and how the conversation on the song is going again? Like, when will people learn? Can't you see the parallels between what happened with cast 
and disco. Like this is the headline. That, this is why people are going people to are listen to the song already. again. Now, when people go and listen to the song again and it becomes successful, people are going to act shocked. How? <gasps> oh. Because at the end of the day, just because it's a love song doesn't mean I can't put a bad boy on it. There has, there's, history is littered with songs where someone is talking about love. Like The Weeknd, for example, you feature The Weeknd on a song Weekend talking about love. The Weeknd invites you to come and do cocaine. The bring some toxicity to it. He's going to invite you to come and do Do you understand? <laughs> Drake. You understand? Like, and these guys are some of the biggest artists. They are going to give you the, 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 the taste of what you want. They are going to make the record you're sell. The, you're forgetting the women grand love patron it. of them. Who? See Breezy. Shout out to, shout out to my nigga. Chris Benga Brown. <laughs> He's living at Chevron. Orchid Road. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, um, what they do. <laughs> so, the problem is, you are now, you now have, you have a song that. What he said, always the problem with this Odomodu guy is, what he says, oh, they're always open to interpretation, but people choose to have a problem with them. The dagger thing that he said, part of love is sex. No, it's love and sex now, so I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> if, no, he said, like, it will be strike Beyonce. Him, when Beyonce, him, eh, he won't come now. He won't come. Should, the only problem I have is they say consent are big. Like when Beyonce was comment. talking about swallowing watermelons, do you think she was actually singing? No, 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 when no, no, Beyonce no. said get uh, peaches, when uh, my um, someone called my breast peaches, you mm -hmm. think she's joking? No, 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 no. Wait, I'm still getting. I'm not done. Now another angle of this conversation is Beyonce did Jolene. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know mm -hmm. Did mm -hmm. Jolene? The original version of Jolene is Jolene. They beg Jolene, may Jolene no call my man. Beyonce's version is. Jolene, don't, try don't fuck with my man, bro. Yeah, now, yeah. So times change. Yeah. And there's a different I'll kind of change. I'll drop off what you said about times change. I think when we're on Twitter, we behave as if we don't see what's actually happening in actuality or in real life. In right? real life. Nigeria has changed dramatically in the last 10, 15 years. A lot of social economic pressures have made things that... I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to enter economics and socialist now because this is where I'm going to tackle it. Things that we used to do in the dark are now becoming very rampant. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. take cars for, ex for example. What did he say? He should not suck or should not fuck. Who go pay for it? It's a bank. fact. It's not See. a fact, Tolani. See, I can mm -hmm. If it doesn't apply to you, Wait, leave it not, alone. The, that means it's not a fact. Mm -mm. See, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It is not, just I because. I don't know, maybe on social media. Let me show you things. Just because something is not applicable like life and death doesn't mean it's not a fact. There are billionaires in the world. Not everybody is a billionaire. Mm -hmm. But are there billionaires in the world? Yes. Yes, yes they are. No. What are you trying to say with that? Let's go back. Because Let there go. are people that if they don't fuck it, they don't suck, they can't buy wig and handbags. It's the truth. Yes. So you Even some of the girls that you know online, that look cool online, if they don't suck, if they don't fuck, Lani, they don't can't do buy this. wig and handbags. It's the truth. This is one of the people that Charlie Pope was talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is AOC showing me? No, oh, because she has to see a half she naked lives girl. In, uh, she lives no, in my she, point is no, the point that, no. The point I'm trying to make is the fact you you saying that if there are no people that don't suck and don't fuck, they won't buy handbags. That's a valid. That's your oh, experience. It is. That's your okay. no. Can I, can I continue? Please, let me be, can I continue wait, let me just finish this line of thought. What I'm saying is a fact. There are other women who don't have to suck and fuck that. They don't hey, they, they work let those people and live. They are the ones complaining. Hey. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Now, yes, there are other women who do that, right? But what I'm talking about, predominantly in our culture now, there is emphasis on transactional relationships. Yeah. Whether we like it or even, not. Even in regular relationships. In regular that's relationships. Trans that's trans we cannot turn our eyes to what Udumodi was saying when we know that, ah, if you see one baby post something else, ah, bad bitch, she's getting her own, you know, one thing, one thing. <laughs> are, what, are, what are they saying on Instagram now? This, uh, my bondu, is not by words of affirmation. It's by what? It's by money. You know, God press money. We all have to jump. AOT. When the other gender now says it. AOT. 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 The, <laughs> no. the dominant conversation on social media now is women saying if you don't have money, there can't be a relationship. So How do... There's, there's a, there has been a trend on social media for the past <laughs> three months. Who's plaster? But what, what, the plaster the now? No, go, no, there's, a, there's a trend that has been going on on social media for three months where what makes women happy? So like, like, wait, 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 Bags where? and wigs. Where? Check, check yes. Instagram and Is you on TikTok? You are not toasting babes. Where are the one toasting? We know. We Fam, know. on social media, go and check your Twitter. What are the things that makes women happy? So, some women might say, "Oh, it's kisses in the morning." But you see, see, someone say, "Okay, one kisses in the morning." Sometimes, at the end of it, we got handbags. Tell me, what makes you happy as a man? 
money. So why are you defend from a woman who says money? Hey, but I'm making my money. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not making. I'm not sucking and fucking. Don't do that. There are lots of men that suck and fuck. Congrats, but no, I don't know. But if a woman now go and see, because now Nigerian men are dragging Nigerian rich men with Nigerian women. Everybody's hustling for Nigerian rich men. Let me tell you something. Let's stop pretending. If let's say Brazil B. No, oh, oh, what's the name of that be? What's the name of that girl again? Which one? That rapper, uh, African, African. What's the name of that girl? Oh, I know where you're going to. Yes, yeah, yes, you will know. Yes, now. Oh, no, I know where you're going to. Akwa Ibom Babe, what's her name? Who now? Oh, that one. I thought it was that one. No, 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 no. no. I know. I know you are talking about. Yes, you mentioned the name now. What are you talking about? Okay, what does she do? She rapper. Let's say she goes and sings now and says, "If men do, there will be no controversy." Men, you just uh, you are not talking about me. Everybody will move on. Do you understand? Like, it's not a if if you know suck, if you know suck, congrats. It's the reality of life. Move on. No, <laughs> it's based on that or it's based on Olufumi. Yes. He's so talking the... about sex. You don't expect Odumodu to not be rapping about sex the way a Jacob rap about sex. I don't understand. This is the way he sees it. And that woman that when they heard his voice, like, yeah, I like that. He shit. said the way I roll can be likened to Shongo, strike him, pierce him, dagger him, use my black man bulala. Use my black man bulala. Kulabu. Kaluba spread them. They worship my banana. Me, showcase, <laughs> showcase, <laughs> showcase a bunda. Come out my robber. Secure my woman. Me self don't call her like Z Zokozuna. Declare my... Why so aggressive? Melody, let me tell you something. Oh, the eh, eh, let me give you a theory. Oh, the eh, let me oh, the raps about love and sex like he's trying to kill you. I can't say this because we're on camera right now. Why is the love so... Oh, the movie, why is the love and sex so hard? You two have not touched me for seven months. And I'm, you think you're not be doing... Oh, my God, You're going to be playing George Michael at the back. Oh, look for me. There's some way... Oh, my God, I'm going to play Kill Out Dada. <laughs> Did you see that Jobo was singing and he fell on his knees begging? Like, why you bunda? Let, let me tell you. Hey, Jobo is a lover boy. And that's his brand. Oh, the mother is Dagaram. He said, go bunda. Da, the Daga. He said, me say, don't call her like Yokozuna. Now, go back to what you said. You said Joe Boy. That's Joe Boy's brand. brand. Joe Boy is the love, sweet lover But the boy. brand of this song is for lover boys. No. no. It don't change. It's Again. just a version of love. Again. The, the, see, women of then, hmm, you want to, there's a reason why they call that the dominant um, sex position of those years missionary. What's the dominant sex position now? Everything. <laughs> Let me tell you. I, have you not seen the things I've been telling you? They are on number 492 now. Sex positions. 492. How many you know? Where is a trend? Ah. I know since social media say it's highly curated. Oh, since so, for, is that a real thing? Ask AOT. Is that a trend? Oh. Yes, no. Like every day they release a new sex position. A it's a thing. Yes. yes. Every day. So you saying that this this way? So what? So what okay, what guys. Okay. Said, when you say um, the AOT. Way, uh, okay, I need to ask you guys a question. Sorry. What sex position is wait? What sex position for your lover is? She um wait to please let me ask my question. What sex position for your lover is the way I roll can be like you to Shongo, strike him, pierce him, dagger him. This is not sex blank. position. Is the is the style. So what style is that? Man, let me tell you something. Even your, your girlfriend, even your girlfriend that I love with. AOT. Sorry. Let me let me. Even your girlfriend that I love with. If you are giving out too slow these days, huh? I'm like, baby. Slap me. No, it's not slap. Dagger arm. You need to pull it down. Shit. No, they stop forming fake So my point now is that Nigerian women, so now that Tola is saying that this thing, so you, I think Nigerian women need to go very aggressive with the Nigerian men. Turn them to their back. You know, no, they, widen I, their legs let me tell you and something. dagger them. Let me tell you something. Uh, is that, is that, is that see, what you want to be doing? See, if a female rapper says... Is oh. that what you want to be doing? If you feel more about it, wait, 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 Is that what you are on? My point is that if you want to be... I'm for a role reversal. That's my... Do you understand? Man is that. If you a female rapper says... You people too. If a Nigerian female rapper comes and says, oh, I love Peggy, my man. It's fine. But it's not... It's not me. I will not carry placard and say, okay. why are you Peggy? It okay, is okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. It's not business. It's not my own. If I say a boyfriend, ah, I could peg you, no. I say, oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. Shall you pass? Do you pass sleep? That's all. I don't want to. Shall I like lube? Yeah. But you don't be saying, oh, You won't say it's bad, right? Ah, oh, oh, oh. You don't call me. Ah, ah. You know that men that want to be pegged? And yes. they pay money yeah. for it. Do you see me? Can I carry placard? No, she just be pegged. God forbid. So I know about you. man like me. What do you think? My ancestors will be over. So I will never. Ah ah. Shango will roll in his grave. Ah ah. Ah ah. What did do? I did not come from heaven with shame for that to be happening. <laughs> no, let me tell you something. It's the fact of life. Have you seen that's a brand of lover boy? L listen. Yes. Let me tell you something. Look, sorry. When, you know what? This lover boy stuff, this bad lover boy can happen. When Chris Brown sang, Deuces. Deuces. I don't be changed from good boy to bad boys. 
That is why all the R&B guys are bad boys today. Have you had, have you had, have you had Savage Anthem by Party Next Door? Have no. you had Party Next Door's new EP? No, see, that's... That um, Savage Anthem by Party Next Door is the most demonic R&B song I've ever heard in the last 15 years. In my whole life. He was basically telling his In my whole life. Yes, I'm a dog. Hold your breath. No. Now. You can't say any good R&B. Don't wait on my love. Any good R&B boy. Don't hold your breath. He said I put the tox in the toxic. Do you hear what The Weeknd sings about? And guess what? That's the person that... uh, What's her name? The woman that Kelani. Kelani ran away. She let Kelly Ivy. He did Kelani's freestyle for... Come on. For her. Times have changed, though. Nobody's wanted... Uh, Wait, she left Kairi for him? Yes, no. I think it was Kairi or somebody, yeah. Nobody wants end of the road, boys to men. No. There's no road to yeah. That's not true. Let me tell you something, Melody. At this point, see, women want to be dominated by men. It's the truth. Of that's In what bed. Women In bed. want to be dominated... And there's some in men. In real life, no, too. that's it. And there's some there, men. Who there's want some to be dominated. men that want to be dominated by women. And true. So hey, but the ratio, please. the ratio. I want to see those men. I say, red dog. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? There are men that like getting slapped. Aoc, Aoc, Aoc. There are some. Yes, but there are some. Oh yes, there are some men. There are some men that like getting peed on. Yes. Getting shot on. I don't understand. Do you understand? Like you, you watch this film now. What's that of that TV show? What's that? TV show about stock, the stock market. You know billions. Okay. Yeah. billions. The opening montage of billions was a very powerful actor in general getting peed on by yeah, his wife. Yeah. And his wife knows. No, oh, why his wife. Goes, even when he goes to those success clubs, his wife is on the phone. You understand? Yeah. Like, it's a kink. Congrats to everybody. Happy, see, happy, as happy. long as there's consent. Like, Do you understand? Me, I don't like it. Like, if we know how these things go, whatever your woman says in the bedroom goes. It's what it is. Um, your message wants to peg you, uncle. No. So what do you say? What no, 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 no. I say, oh, when I say whatever, you to apply your brain. It's, <laughs> no. it's in, it's in <laughs> the <laughs> realms of possibility. I'll call your mother now. Say your daughter is, is possessed. There's a fact you said. Eba bedarimi. Yeah, John. What do you guys think add about? The, add inflation to it too. What do you guys think about the Kendrick and Drake situation? God, that's yeah, old bro. school, man. That's dumb. No, AOT. Because your fave lost doesn't mean. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, BBL mean... I'm crazy. But we've lost that shit. That Wait, shit. Which, which, which two way. Nigerian rappers do you think can give us that? Like nobody. Go. Oh, no, that's not true. If Odu Odumodu would probably be one. I like Odumodu with somebody and somebody else. I don't know who. But for is. sports, not for like yeah, out of records. For like, but I also don't want it to get that that messy. Those that's niggas went there. No, those, that's why like J Cole. J Cole looked at Crystal Ball. No, no. Like, someone oh. said they said Schoolboy Q called him, or maybe it was you know what? I think J Cole's manager is also doing stuff with IB, IB Ahmad. Yeah. yeah. And just now, bro, what is coming? You don't just want to get work. out of the way. And bro, you don't want any of it. So they saw the cause already pedo. The next is all the called woman be talent. Oh more. Where from where to where now? Wait, wait, do you see how toxic it became? They now started sentient like the things they they, now, they, they now made that a detriment of women. Why? So why not but not it's not about women, it's so, everything around them. It's not but about But it was women. centered around somebody you know why? their wife, somebody. No, you know why. Because, because those, those are those weak points in your army. Exactly. Those are the things that can get you out of When it comes to real beef. There's nothing you cannot use against anybody. Yeah. You use anything and anything against anybody. And this, the, for them to go that far, that means they respected each other. Yep. They really so, went that far. And that's my far. problem with the two of them. They keep claiming like they don't like each other. But the only reason you can go at anybody like you know that why? is because you respect it. It's, a, it's that hate-love thing that... Yeah. I'm supposed to be number one. Why did they keep mentioning you? This guy. Me? But it's also they an ego thing. It's an ego thing where... They if don't, you are going for the crown, it's definitely an ego If you are going for the crown, thing. it's an ego thing. It's an ego thing. If you want to be called the king of rap... Because the two of them are already rich. Yes. So who won? Oh, Kendrick. Kendrick, Kendrick won by by a landslide. Is it a landslide? Not by a landslide, but I think for I think it was a landslide. A landslide. But Drake mm-hmm. listeners are saying that. He Congrats didn't. to them. Because Drake has a cult fan base. Yep. The OVO fan, fan base. And he has a bigger fan base. So I don't think it will damage him in the long run. He will just have a hiatus. I th- I don't think Drake is ever going to be damaged by beef. He's too big. He's, an he's too big. Of an artist, but like this thing is for sports. And the people who said who were really cheering for Drake to be defeated are the people that never liked him, the hardcore yep, rap fans. Yep. Who now jumped on Kendrick? And, and even said, the hardcore rap fans still wanted. They kind of wanted him to win. I, the person I saw that blew my mind that wanted Drake to win was uh, what's, what's the name of this OG? Who yeah, is this guy? Who? You know this guy now on Twitter. Who's that? Um, American? No, it's Nigerian. It's Nigerian. Hey, he's this guy. He's one of these guys that Chama. talk about. No, he talks about rap a lot. Nigerian guy. I remember his name. Um, he, he wanted Drake to win. I was surprised I didn't want Kendrick to win. Yeah. Well, it was entertaining for the last the four weeks he ran. I think, I think that was the most interesting thing in global. 
rap music. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One yeah. of the biggest beats we've seen in history. Yeah. Of I think it is the biggest, in my opinion. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. In history. I think yeah. the only thing that they say, oh, Pac and Bigos, because it led to their deaths. Yeah. And, that has and, that, and that's and that's Kyra, but in terms of bigger. back and forth, because Biggie didn't really. But even in terms of impact, the Pack and Biggie one is bigger than this. The long, the long term impact. The long, but yeah. in, in this like is just for melody, sports and entertainment. In the four weeks, in they, terms of the they arts, produced, in terms of the arts. they produced ten tracks. Yeah, like the, the back to back, bro. <sighs> the art of rapping and the quality of the music never dropped. It once. never dropped once. Even they even were... ASAP Self Chop. <laughs> you know that's one of the things I saw. The small xenophobia I saw, or the small barbelly I saw in the beef, like everybody that had a grouse against Brick, were like, yeah, we're jumping off Kenny's back and we're attacking, attacking, so attacking. That, that's not unexpected. When you are the big dog, yeah. everybody's gonna come. I saw people, I saw names that I couldn't believe, like Rose, Esa. But so another problem is when you are the big dog, everybody tend to, to have them. a grouse against you. you remember Jay Z told him this thing on that yeah, song? Yeah, on um, 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 Big Brother. Uh, no, not Big Brother. Not Big Brother. Um, I forgot that song. Um, um, on light, off, light, 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 light off. Light, light off. Light off or light off? Light off or something. Jay Z predicted. And then, what and would happen come, to Drake. Um, well, he told him not. He told Drake. Him this yes, I told you. He told him. This is how I Yeah, he told him. He told him. He told him. Well, you know. On that first album, um, um what's that other album again? So Thank, far gone. So, no. No. Thank me later. No. Is it Thank me later? Yeah, I think it's Thank me later. Yeah. Yeah. Entertain you, sir. Entertain me. Entertain, like, in my opinion, I like the fact that the two of them went at it. It was good for it was good for the space. It was I know that they've been dissing each other for yeah, they've been laid back and forth since two months. <sighs> Subliminals here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's go straight to the for, let's go to it. For ten years. Like, so let's months, talk bro. about it. Let's have that. When are you people going to get to it? I thought they even passed. Like, they're never going to. I thought there. they were not going to. Even Jam, did you see Joe Body? It Joe Body was song. so happy. It was this one across his first my first, first person shooter. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think he was the first person shooter. I think it because was. Ken, so you know, Ken, the second was meant to be on it. Oh, for real? Yeah. Then he pulled back. That would have been a moment, yeah. Yeah, they said it was meant to be on it. That's but I also think that when when those two when two like superstars are supposed to be on a song, it now sometimes it takes away the fun of the song because one person tries to do the better verse, yeah. call back that's verse, like no call back Drake verse. That's why Drake a beat for Jaco to do what he did on first yeah. person shooter. Yeah. It's always like somebody was. Um, Jaco destroyed. Jaco is not well, a human being. Oh my god. That that dreadlock, I think he's oh. not normal. When he went, when, what ah. is holding Jaco back is that dread. if you remove that, you go full man. Yeah. Is right. that rasta thing that's keeping him? My my, well, I don't I don't want to I don't want to hear that nigga do any wish a nigga would drops again in life. Not yeah, in this life or yeah. the next. Yeah, because want I won't lie. Jaco. Yeah. When I saw Jaco on stage, I know that I'm like, Apologize, bro, I'm like, is this what Nas would do? Is this yeah. what you you, let, you didn't just let Nas down. You let Nas burn, nigga. <laughs> But I think that was the right thing to do, to be honest. Congrats in, to you. In my opinion, not you know I why feel like a lot of times. You know why? Because people just want the entertainment. And congrats. And people's the fact he's, that. he's not that guy. No. And, but Melody, listen. Elsie, hey, sorry. So, hip hop is contact sport. You must touch somebody. Do you understand? It is sport. If you are going to come out and say, I am the best, when someone calls your name, you must you to defend run. it. You must Do you understand? This nigga has been on a streak for like four years. He got the killing pictures. everything in sight. And on any of... Like, this nigga went on Drake's own song, First Person Shooter, and said, is, who is number one? Is he can do? He said it was me. Now, maybe... On Drake, feature your song. You say, now, maybe the number one. You even went on Lee Yardy's show. When Lee Yardy was trying to say something, you said, no. I killed that nigga on his own song. You reiterated. You wanted the number one spot. You wanted the smoke. So, if you want the number one spot... You can't pull out. Now, I get the human part of you pulling the, out. Yeah. I get it. But the rapper, the rap, the, the, to be do you understand? You must be ready The to reason kill. why this, this thing is going to take Kendrick's reps into another stratosphere. God, God another level. Another stratosphere. Now, the, the sad part of it, though, for Kendrick is, which is which any people, a lot of people are going to have problems with is, it came at a time when Kendrick needed hype. Yeah, Let's yeah. Be that last album, like they, like Drake was putting yeah. out, bro. Yeah, he didn't go. Yeah, he didn't go. Yeah, right. Um, he needed something that would bring. He needed Boosting. a spark. Yeah, and Boost. immediately they said you are meant to be on first position. I said, huh? Me? Fuck your niggas. He waited for them to release it. Enjoy and then, the like, happiness. and the problem that I have with it is, <clears throat> for such a calculative guy, which is Drake. I think you underestimated uh, Kendrick. I think it was a bit so emotional, they, I would think. Yeah. I think you underestimated Kendrick. Because I feel like a lot of... And I, and I think that when people talk about Kendrick's music, there's always this jab where they say that, oh, Ken, Kendrick he's, does... He's too mechanical. Yeah, he's too mechanical. He's too mechanical. He does music about saving it, it black people. Mechanical. Yeah. His music is not interesting. So I don't think Drake... But, so, a little bit of history, which ALT knows, and you know some of. Kendrick 
and Drake, the history that they have doesn't really have much to do with the two of them, in my opinion. There's an article that was on across the across the I can't remember the, across the something some years ago, where some guy broke up broke w- broke down why Drake is never going to want to impress the rap audience. Yeah, yeah. After doing you two great that albums, yeah, he sent it to me. You you did two great albums, yeah. and Grammy it, said, "Fuck you." It, 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 the one he made that he won best rap album for, rap niggas were saying it wasn't a rap album. <laughs> it was an R&B <laughs> album. It was an R&B album, right? So he vexed. I went and made nothing was the same, which is a fantastic rap album. Unfortunately for him, Good Kid, Mad City was released in the same calendar year. Which Unfortunately is... for him, Makumo dropped in the same ca- career in the same calendar year. Makumo is a white man who made hits from making rap music. Obviously, it was now good to him. they now nominated the three of them in the best rap album category. Drake feels he had made a rap album, but the problem was hip hop niggas loved. Good Kid Match is more than they loved. Yeah, was the Good Kid Match is a the one that is, is that album, right? No, <laughs> everybody expects Kendrick to win because let's be honest, it was the best album in that category. <laughs> Drake didn't like that. The second part of the problem now, when Makuma now wins shockingly for everybody. <laughs> Makuma goes on stage. It's your witchcraft. <laughs> Makuma goes on stage and was apologizing to Kendrick. Yeah, yeah apologizing to After he was apologi- well, apologizing. I think they're like, shut up, you won't go home. <laughs> you won't go home. <laughs> you understand? Drake hated the fact that nobody mentioned his name. Everybody was mentioning Kendrick's name. And also didn't help him that Kendrick had a legendary performance with Imagine Dragons yeah. that night. Which he later said to him about. Thank you very much. <laughs> right? So... Drake hated it. And that was moments where Drake felt like he was never going to be accepted by rap niggas, which wasn't his fault. Rap niggas were never going to accept him. And then Kendrick was now getting to another stratosphere. Black Drake Messiah. hates what Kendrick represents. Yeah. Kendrick black, hates black, what Drake, black, Drake black, represents. Black. Kendrick hates Drake hates the fact that this nigga makes the type of music that nobody should be listening to, but he's making hits of them. Ken, Drake, Drake, the Kendrick hates the fact that the populism of Drake. So they hate each other. Right? They can't have. They, they, and Drake is the fact that I put you on. Why are you trying to come yeah, at my head? My album first, I put you on. Why are you coming at my head? I can be like, fuck you, nigga. I'm better than you. I want to take the throne. So th- they have been going back at it. Now, Drake won a beef with McMill along the way. This, I think this is Kendrick's first highly publicized beef. Yeah. I think people have been kind of scared to go at him. It's like the Eminem. That yeah. Like they have be kind, of, yeah. be kind of been scared to go at him. At who now? At Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah. Uh, yes, He's kind of scared to go at him. That, that, that guy went on control, killed Big Sean on his own song. Big Sean didn't say that. People have been going at Drake for no, a No, Big Sean is a... Yeah. I think Big Sean is always road kill. Like, if you want to take shots, just take shots. Just take shots. Big Sean is just trying to enjoy it, his life. And I think... That's another person that I think Kendrick hates. Big Sean. I think Kendrick yeah, hates Big Sean. Because on this song, Be Humble. Yeah. My left stroke, yeah, yeah, yeah. my back, but, that was yeah. a big Sean disc. He hates big Sean. I don't know what big Sean did to him. I think it was maybe because... Maybe Jenny Aiko. Maybe because... Maybe Jenny Aiko. Jenny Aiko was cool with black people for a while. <laughs> I maybe mean, Kendrick was talking about... They are California people. Yeah. I think... I th- my opinion is, I think... When them... When, no Kendrick and big Sean kind of... At the same time, they were... And I think people were comparing him to Kendrick. So they know and that you know that. someone like Kendrick. It's, fi- it's like 5'7". Five, five, Napoleon syndrome choke. So he shot, man. Ah. We are good. Fuck you. So I think I think that's part of why. So this one, by the way, I think Drake underestimated him a little bit. Too much. I think it Yeah, did. I think so too. I think it and did. I, and because, I, I, sorry, Melody. Yes, no. Because you after Kendrick dropped like that, Drake wasn't too confident when he dropped push ups, let's be honest. Yeah, because he, he, he went back to the tweak the yeah, was, he was giving he wasn't too confident. He dropped a version that was not CD quality. Yeah, he was like he wasn't too confident. He wasn't dropped like a Lucy. He wasn't too, he was like testing the, the waters. Yeah. But then we saw people liked it and lapped it up. He put it on just the yeah. SPs. Now, where Kendrick won the beef part one, where Drake now dropped Taylor Mid. That Taylor Mid is a fantastic song. Bro. So those guys are all the songs were yeah. they were really good. Fire songs. And so let's not forget that the the, the time frame. Like I, I how? I will wait you drop it in the middle of the night. You wake up I'm like, what's going on? It took on? months for now to drop it. Um, back then. These guys are dropping it, it in real time. Real time. Yeah, because it's, they'll just say you've lost. And they'll pay um, you even Takeover, how long did, before Takeover came out? You've even given us visuals. Bro. Bro, takeover came first before you. Before, I mean, the one that was on the album. Takeover that came out before. Takeover came out before it. Yeah. I'm just like, how are you? What, what is this work rate, to but be honest? That was you know what? the problem. Great MCs always have something in the tank for every adversary. So when they're ready to pull up. Mm. No, I don't, I don't think they had it. Some of those bars, some of those bars were really pretty too. I, I, don't, I don't disagree, Tolani. I don't disagree. Some of those brands were already I do not disagree. That Imagine Dragon line. I knew that nigga was sitting, was sitting on that line for a while. I do not they disagree. Had, because look at you the think? They had, they had, like, 
bars no, for themselves. But I don't, I don't, I don't. I, they I, have I bars agree. for them. They have bars I for have themselves. To agree. I don't know. But is that sure? It's the way they work. It's very possible. It's very possible. It's very possible. Now, that nigga was not beating no boy. Mm-hmm. He was beating him. Oh, come out, come out. Yeah. And I can't that doing, nigga, they won. If that nigga, if he had dropped that Euphoria song in the middle of that problem, he would have lost. Because Taylor Swift dropped that week. Yeah. Yeah. He knew now. He knew. And that was why... Drake also mentioned that. Drake also mentioned that. Yeah. He's, the biggest, he's the biggest gangster in the game. Yes, if is. Kendrick had dropped it, he would have lost. So... Drake, this, Drake underestimated. So if Ken, Kendrick waited, dropped it on his own terms, on his own accord, Drake was now. But my opinion is, someone leaked. Kendrick knew, um, yeah. family matters was yeah. coming. Yeah, he knew. He knew family matters was coming. But you know, Drake was also saying that there's a there's a there's mole. A yeah, I, th- I think there's a leak. Yeah, his team is too large. I think there's a leak somewhere. I don't know where it is coming from. And the reason why I think so is the but, but family Drake matters. Like he planted the leak. Meet the Grams was already up- uploaded. It just wasn't released. Yeah, it was uploaded. They knew. What was they knew what was coming, and they knew the content of what was coming. Because there is no way, like, why would I re record it and put it online? Because the only reason I know is when this guy drops it, I'm going so to uncover it. I know, I, 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 because of the fact that Drake was also shot the video. So it must have leaked during that process. Somebody Someone must, must have leaked it. Yeah, they shot the video happens. for it. Giving us visuals, guys. That's what happened. So when he dropped me the Grams, like, Family Matters is such a good song. It pains me so much. Bro, Family Matters. He took out, every, he took out everybody. Everybody is such a good song. He smoked everybody. But guys, I, I feel like even with the work rates, like when when we talk about Afrobeat and we talk about how like even hip hop has influenced all these genres, we don't well, give. It, it actually took a long time to come. It out. took a long time, but also you know that I think around that period, his mom was sick, his mom died or something. Yeah. And there was no social media then. Yeah. So everyone was waiting there was no for. Pressure. We know that mass is going to drop. Don't worry. And it was going to be. It was, it was going to be an event anytime it dropped, and Bro. it was an event. Nas, nice. Nas. Nice. Jay Z had to run to France. I feel like when, when people Jay-Z talk about... Jay-Z still, he still said something, some things later. But he said one more, he said. He doesn't yeah. like snitch on yeah. Nas's baby mama yeah. having said yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I learned that mm. mm. But people don't say, Baba, no, no, no worry. No, no, no. Baba, just they go out. Ita was too heavy. Ita is, Baba, they go out. They go out. So I don't, I don't... I'm on that... Meet the Grahams, neutralized. Everything. He neutralized. And I think Drake just knew that, oh, no, this will not pass my power. Neutralized Drake. And then, it didn't help that Drake was now saying... Oh, we planted my nigga. You lost, you lost. Nobody plant, cares. If you planted it, that's the first thing you would have said after Mitty Grams came out. Yes, no. No, but in, in, in that's what I'm trying to say. That I, I think another thing that shocked him was how quickly the game turned the on game him. Almost. On Everybody, who now? On Drake. On Drake. No, but but like Drake, a, a lot no. of people he that he has given like his to were like hits. They're taking jabs at him. They were taking Some jabs of their first him. hits as well. It was so bad that a lot of top executives in hip hop were t- publicly tweeting that they wanted Drake to lose. Which is wild. That's the xenophobic aspect of it. That's why people say xenophobic. Yeah, that's said, oh. said it was because it was not it was not American. Yeah, the, the not, they said it's not American. It's not part of us. It's all that everything. I'm to like, be honest, I think that when it comes to this rap conversation, when it comes to Drake respect and all of that, I think that people respect Drake because of the numbers that he has done and the success of his rap what? music. No, I don't Drake think that. Is an elite rapper, I don't think that people respects his rap as a rapper. I, I feel like the OGs, you listen, the OGs just respect his success. But they still have this skepticism as they I still think, have this. I think they, they still I, make this snide remark like, oh, think, he's not really a hardcore so rapper. It's a, he's it's just a, blue because of the girl is. Do you know do you know Caitlin Clark? Yes, I the do. The biggest the, that's American the basketball. The American the white team. Yes, I yeah. do. Like now everybody wants her to fail. Because she's straight and she's Oh yeah, black. with too much success, everybody yeah, wants like everybody wants get the fuck out. Nobody because she's white me. and she's straight. Do you understand? Like when you don't represent the norm in any particular place, people just want you to fail, especially when you are really good at what you do. Is the truth, mm-hmm. right? Um, Drake is very good at rapping. Yep, I think he's, <laughs> I think he's really I, I don't good. want to hear anything. He's so like Drake he's so good. Yeah, that's, that's what that's what I don't want to hear. Just agree, say the boy he's is bad. fantastic. Drake bad. I don't Stop want to hear. Even this this track that uh, we're all we're all saying the track was uh, was lost. If he had dropped um, at part six on an album, would have uh, as three p.m. in Inglewood, we would have said it was a great track. Or a great, great rap song. That's what I would have said. So, I don't want to hear anything about that. He lost because of strategy. The two of them spawn mod a lot. And it just happens that Kendrick spawned the bigger mod. And then put a hit on top of it. What's the bigger mod? The daughter thing that was true or not true. 
but it's talk. silence family matters. See, you don't but, need to come. But Drake truth. is saying that it's not true. Nobody you don't cares. Need to, you don't need to come out with the truth. If, if the lie works, was, it's works. more entertaining. And it came at a time when he silenced Drake. Nobody cares. People are saying doing theory on social media looking like for us. the child. Do do? Not like us. Just. Oh, the moment, the moment I heard. Pa, 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 I'm like, oh, Fuck, it's time uh, to go home. Yeah, man. But uh, entertaining, Sha. Was entertaining. It was really entertaining. Yeah, and, and shout out to J. Cole for stepping out. I, mean, I know Why that. Why you did? Let me tell you something. A lot of times, when you people are entertaining, let me say my beats, please. When you people are doing all these your rap conversations, you people just like the violence. You people just like. We the don't like violence. It's not violence. It's the no, competition. You like it's the, the competition. No, you people like when somebody is giving energy of. Bak, 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 yes, no. That's how you people are applauding. Um, Odumodu Naya. This is Odumodu song now. He has chased Olu for me. This Olu for me. Now this. Now this is that guy. Now you go take chase Olu for me. You're supposed to be begging the girl to come, but you don't use that guy chase him. Now so. The girl will come back. Do you until know she, why? Until she. Until she. Until she starts to hear big girl. Guilty. Two a.m. What are you doing? What are you doing? W-Y-D. You're not know, saying pull up. You're not saying go now. When, when, Kendrick Kendrick said, said, uh, when, when Kanye said, if I will use W-Y-D, you say, ah, with a big dub, I will say, eh. Do you understand? Melody, you know as if it's a go. She does a form one. Melody, have you sent a W-Y-D before? What's W-Y-D? Or the eye doing, emoji. Nigga? No one accused with that eye emoji. Those two eye emojis. On the Friday night. At 3 a.m. Ah, ah, Suliya. Is that Suliya? Go and sleep. Don't let... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so um so for as far for we have a we have a, a an interesting segment as part of our shivers thing. Oh, wow. What the segment? Um, and our segment is called Arise We Rise, right? Arise Arise. Say, arise We Rise. Arise We Rise. It's a campaign for the Shiva sex fee. Okay, okay, okay. Right. What's the who's the one person that has helped you, AOT, in your career? Someone that's someone that uplifted you. Unconditionally. Oh, I think you know the person. That's Osagi Olonge now. Oh. Yeah. Like give you like an opportunity. Really? Yeah. If you say over the course of my career, I'll say it's Osagi. But if they are, they are like... Course of your career, yes. They are like singular episodes where somebody has given me like a through pass. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, helped take me to the next level. No, but yeah. over the course of your career, like who's oh, the one? It's definitely Osagi. Why? But I would have said you gave me a true pass at some point. So that's, that, that's the story now because... Yeah. Anybody who knows the story, if you don't know the story, you can find it somewhere. I think that's yeah. the story now. Okay. Oh, you go taste one, bro. We we'll just round it up. How did you meet Osags? Oh, that's wonderful. So there was a show, there was a radio show called um, Club Rockaway, H&I, the, H- Club Rockaway, I think it was called Club Rockaway, on Ripper. Jesus Christ. Right? One, one 1.5 FM. And there was, the host was called H&I C Dr. G. This is how hip-hop it is. And this guy used to play hip-hop like every Saturday night, late in the night. And this is where Records were not even rap singles. These were like underground rap singles. These were hip hop. We they carry hip hop for head, like say we they sell bread. So years later, when I now joined Hip Hop World magazine, the guy started a monthly event just for hip hop heads, hmm. where you come and perform and everything. That's the first place I ever saw Ice Prince. The the first event I went for was in um, is it Gateway Hotel, somewhere you know between Lagos and. Um, Ugo State, MI performed, Ice Prince performed, some other people performed. So later I now found a more permanent venue, somewhere in Ikeja, after Underbridge or background. And me being the hip hop journalist, I was carry on for my head. So when people came, I was taking pictures. I didn't know who these people were. I just started taking pictures and I put it up on my Facebook. What phone were you taking the pictures with? No, it was a small, I had a small camera. camera okay. Yeah. And uh, there was a picture I took of two guys. But it was, I am, um, they were facing back, so I didn't see their faces. But they wore um, rock sacks, like true hip hop fashion, like Kanye West. And I snapped it and I now put it on my Facebook and said, Oh, two hip hop heads at Club Rockaway. I don't know how Osage saw it. Osage said, These are not hip hop heads. This is Osage, me, and Feko, the rapper. And from there, we started following each other. Like, this is Feko, that guy. Yeah, yeah, that's, this is Feko. Yeah, yeah, that's him, Feko. And we just started following each other. Talking about hip hop, yada yada yada. That time Osage was still a rapper, you know. <laughs> I don't know how he was. Osage was a rapper. Osage was a rapper. Yeah. Then, Featured on an, on the Head Is Winning album. Yes. Then I left hip hop world. Then the next by any who is also an alumni of that smooth, smooth promotion hip hop world thing, you know, you already had the next, and he needed like somebody who could be writing stories, you know, basically just doing 
just writing stories basically or uploading stories to the website. And he said, Oh, he couldn't hire me because of my connection to hip hop world. Yeah. Because of the modern counter. So I now said, Oh, there's this I'm guy called Osagio. That and Osagi was blogging on his side. He had like Rhymesville. And I said there's a guy that does like Rhymesville, you know, he's good at this, this. And I think I connected both of them. And everybody knows Osagi from the net and everything. And it was chill. You know, um, and I just started writing for the net on part time basis reviews and all that. Steve Dede later was in, in, the, in, the, in the in the in the story in the courts in the yeah. courts in, in the, the mix. Courts. Then I later came back to hip hop world, but they already had hip TV. So when hip TV was about to be established, as part of like the first people they hired, a lot of the programming, TV scheduling, I was one behind that Ooh. scripting and all that. I wonder, I said, okay, I want to. So I think I went to Osage's office to deliver something. I can't remember what I wanted to deliver. Or maybe I wanted to collect my check. I don't know. Osage and I said, oh, let me escort you outside. And Osage, you know, they escort anybody outside. <laughs> because work choke. And I said, you know, told me that he's moving to Pulse. And I already knew Pulse then. I was like, okay, that's not bad. That he was going to be editor in chief, that his plan is to take like me along and everything. I was fine. Because I already even resigned then from, from Hip TV. Oh. Yeah, from Hip TV. And I think I waited like a month or Wait, two you months. You worked at Hip TV as well, not just Hip Hop World. Yeah, I worked at... So when I came back, I worked at Hip TV because there was no more Hip Hop World at that yeah, time. Yeah. So Hip TV was moving from just a TV program into a fully-fledged yeah, TV, TV station, station TV on station. DSTV. And he not told me he was going to bring me along. I said, okay. And I think I waited for like one month or two months, you know. I wanted to just say, more, come to the office. This wise guy is going to interview you and everything. Is that Rich? No, that was Leo. Okay. I got there... Leo was asking me questions. I, I was asking, I said, what's your, he now Googled my name. <laughs> and I said, okay, okay, okay. He even increased my salary there, like, okay. <laughs> and before you know, I started off at uh, Pulse, and you know, everybody knows the story of Pulse and yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how, so that's yeah. How they so that's how everything. Then Steve Dede later came along. And, and became three wise men. And Pulse now became very notoriously known <laughs> for breaking people's asses. <laughs> yeah. Let's not go into that story, please. God forgive us for those days. Yeah. What? That's real hip hop. That's real entertainment journalism. <laughs> yeah, that was Actually, real entertainment. Yes. I agree. So that's, uh, there's, there's this, I artist, agree. And this artist caught a sizzling romance. I, <laughs> I, I agree. That was a moment. We don't I like your agree. album. So that fine. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Nobody was asleep. If manager don't like her, now your business. Congrats. Is very, 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 don't call us your event. You don't send. You send at your event. I can't even lie. Osage. Osage. Um, is Osage the good culture journalist? I think for our own set, he is the good culture yeah. journalist. Because the net... Is, who is the overall good, let's say, in the modern era? I think it's, I think it's Ayani. Ayani will be, but I think Femi Akintele Johnson, Fudge. There's really? a man called Fudge. I know Fudge. He was the one that gave RMD his... The name RMD, yeah. like, I think the abbreviation yeah. was the one. Ooh. Oyeka when the Elegant Stallion. Yeah. He was the one. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I yeah. know Fudge, but I would say Ayani because... But Ayani is a go too. Yeah, I think Ayani is a go. Ayani is a go. I would say Ayani because... The Ayani, impact. Eh? The impact. Yeah. And the longevity of the impact. Yes, yes. and so, what he's doing in the media space thank now. Thank you very much. And, and what the has impact involved. has even done. Yes. And what yes. even like, the impact the has that done came through in the media exactly. space. Exactly. Yes. The, yeah. yes. the, the tree. The tree. The branches that well, the you tree. Know, you know another bigger tree? Who? Ayani Marshall. Because if you know the people... Ooh. Ayani is Ayani Marshall Street. 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 Street. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Big people came. Even... From, from people in front of the TV camera. Yes, yeah. I agree. It's, it's him. I yeah. animation, and yes. him entering headies again. Yeah. Yeah, nah. We've had many so, goats. But yeah. I, can we call him a journalist? He started off as a journalist because he, started, he used to work in Ovation, yeah. which was the biggest celebrity magazine. I know. Yes. I know. Yes. Then he now became more of all that. And a curator. Just, he now became a true curator. curator. I think it was the first example of a curator, curator of the culture. He yeah. became more I, like, he became more like um, Fat Fan. What's his name? Oh. Dev Jam founder. Um, Russell. Russell. Yes, yes, like yes. Russell. yes, yes. And a lot of people don't know, like, the guy took a lot of... He took a look at heat. Yeah. For Nigeria, he And Hip World magazine was that shit. Bro, there was a time that... Guy. Was that shit. There was a time that Nigerian breweries was the biggest spender in the entertainment industry. Guy. Yeah. And Ion went... They were, they were advertising on his magazine. Yeah. But he would call, he would call out artists that were working with them. And he was taking heat for it, but he was doing it for the culture. Yeah. Yeah. This is a time when Idris was the biggest artist in the country. Yeah. He put Idris and maintain on the cover yeah. and said, they're not hip-hop. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Yes. I dare any editor to today do that. to put whiskey in front of the cover and say, it's not keeping it real. I dare you. And say he's not Afrobeat. You take it 
bro, 24 hours, you take it down. And Ayo was doing that. He was fighting for like the true representation of the culture. Yeah. So, and bro. So Ayo and honest and Ayo like saying the story Ayo that everybody wants to goes. say. Yeah. It's really in the modern era because it branched into TV. Hedis is still the number one shit. Yes. Whether yes. I like it or Whether not. Like it or not. Yes. yes. Like still the number yes. one. Uh, but I, I would lean more towards Ayo. No, it's not of like, oh, the breaking of stories. Of and the everything. stories. Like, yeah. And then the style, whatever the style of, of pop culture journalism, what it became mm-hmm. is an Ayo thing. Yeah, yeah. Ayani was the voice, great the writer. style, great writer, all of that. Ayani will tell you that. Era, Ayani is so funny that celebrities will know that they've done something bad. Yeah. And they'll call him that. Ah, Ayani, this is what I did do. Please don't write about it. It's fine. It's fine. Knock you. <laughs> call Osage. Knock him. <laughs> when the artist now says, ah, 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 Baba, no, it's not me. Osage, I don't know. Osage, <laughs> Baba, it's not my. <laughs> give a fuck. That's what gave us the, the audacity and tenacity to mm. say, fuck. When you go through. A hip hop world and go through the net. You don't look at any artist and say, What? Like, who are you? How is it go vex? Yeah. And we've all gone through, we've all had incidents yeah. where we went against the biggest people in the country. And people were like, Whoa, what? And we're like, Fuck it's it. balls, man. It's balls. Yeah. But, but to be very honest, I feel like, shout out to like INE and um, Ayani Mashaun for the work that they did. And um, I'm a and, Fudge. Fudge is a And Fudge name. and God all those guys. Damn. But for, 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 you know, when we talk about modern Afrobeat and we say things where like, Where is he now? So let fact, me finish my, my train of thoughts. He does, sorry, he does like a sorry, radio man. show. That's the best I know. He does like a radio show. I follow him on Instagram. He does like a radio show, Sean. Sorry. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that when we're talking about like modern Afrobeat and we say things like them, Whiskey, Borna, um, David, and give them credit for it. I feel like when we talk about like journalism and talk about the culture yeah. and we talk about the impact, yeah. I will always, always, maybe as a youngin or as someone who's like come, I will always give credit so, you know, Osage, Steve, AOC. and AOC. I, yeah. I call them the three wise men <laughs> of the culture because I will never forget the impact yeah. that loose talk had in me. Yeah. Like, the yeah. impact is like, whenever I used to like, they were, I used to like put my ears to hear what they were saying. <laughs> I would literally be on my bed and be arguing with my friends like, no, this is not what they did. What's the name of that OG that's not in the UK? Man? By your... Ah, ah. I'm going to buy Omishore too. Buy Omishore. He was, the time I was reading Hip Hop World magazine, it was his name I was looking for because mm-hmm. Baba the right time. The right time. That's yeah. my, we never had a, di- like he never had like a direct contact of him putting me through. Yeah. But just the just standard. Just reading. The standard. Yeah. The standard yeah. I knew what to and expect. the hip hop, the hip hop knowledge bro, of Bio Omishore is not from this world. Yes. And there are so many others. Bio Omishore, um, James Silas. James Silas. Um, James Silas. Bro, there are just too many. Chairman. 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 Wonderful writer. Jide Taiwo. Jide Taiwo too. Jide Taiwo. That the same generation. I think oh, your generation, generation had... Uh, I think your generation Mad was impact the last generation. Though, yeah. that my generation was not... I think because there wasn't a focus on the aspect of writing anymore. It was more of like content curation. So now you have the likes of 49th Street and the others who are doing a wonderful job, but there's a lack of editorial voice. Yeah. I think I think my generation still even tried. I think no, you t- I, oh, bro, you are doing my stories. My generation, my generation still tried. That stories I'm looking the generation for generation after me. Oh, bro, <laughs> that stories I'm looking for. It's like okay, mm-hmm. that stories I'm looking for. Like, I, I nobody has written them. Yeah, like yeah. hype men are not the biggest vocalist in Afrobeat. Yeah, I can't see a definitive article on that. I mean, Adia is trying, but there's only so no, much. Adia, Adia, there's only so much ground. Do you know why? Do you know Adia is trying because yeah. he comes from that lineage. Yeah, I, exactly. He comes from that lineage. Thank you. So he knows like he knows how to he needs to uphold that the culture. Even the stories yeah. around DJs, we need someone to tell those stories. Bro. Like thank you. I, I, so I think I think that's part of the problem. There's not a lot of people that come from true journalism to put other people through it. Like yeah. I was writing before I got to Pulse, but Pulse was when I realized that what I wanted to do was actual journalism. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Like I remember the f- <laughs> I got to Pulse the first time. <laughs> And on the Monday morning, Osags was... I don't know what was pissing Osags off. <laughs> I can't even remember. And it, um, Osags pointed to me and said, so, first day, I just resumed. I don't know if you to... What's the story, what's the story that you have for us? Maybe you say, my, my blood, they hot if I come post. What did I say? I don't write the story before I come. I ask you to... What did you, what did you say? I, 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 um, so that time, <laughs> But I write three thousand words. Ah, I, I was sorry. ready. I mean, I was ready for you. I was ready. You write three thousand. I'm just chopping down. I look at you to like, who is this guy? <laughs> like what? Chopping my like, stories down. Like what? Like what's going on? Calm down, Mr. Man. You're burned out. Calm down. <laughs> but, and the funny thing is, I don't even took that writing to thread on Twitter. 
No. You've given us 1,500. But, it was, kilo but no, knowing, like, you guys really helped. I, I said it on the podcast yeah. recently, yeah. like, that that was that was that's an incredible incredible part. And of I also think life. that another thing that just to speak on this journalism thing and yeah. people saying that culture. They Are you also a goat in your own right? Please rest. Let's uh-huh. not, no, no, let's not do that. Okay, yeah, I want to right. say something. Can we not okay, do this? No, let's give you your flowers. No, I don't. Want, I don't want. Now. Please. What I want to say is that another thing that people do not talk about enough when we're talking about this. There are not enough people doing the storytelling. Maybe like the last last breed or whatever, dying breed or whatever. You guys also forget the pressure. That these young people are under now, people that are coming up. There's oh, yeah, so much happened. pressure from people for them to say stories the way they want them to say it. And that's there's also wait now. This, let me be done, Talani. Please don't interrupt okay, sorry. me. There's so much pressure. When I see when young journalists write stories now, people are coming there to criticize them because you don't like what they said or you don't like how they spoke about your artists. So it's like let the journalists do their job. Stop trying to dictate and stop trying to stop trying to dictate to media. Stop trying to. Um, gag media, that. stop trying to insult I people. I, I see people that. insulting young journalists a lot on social media, and I it's so wrong. That. But those people are never going to stop. <sighs> you understand? They did it to you. The, no, it's not even about doing it to me. That's never going to stop. It's the journalist's job, job. Hmm. to learn but boldness. It's tiring and now. I think the problem with a lot of journalists, there's a reason why they is the only bold one now. Maybe him and a few others. And another problem is a lot of platforms are also not about truth telling anymore. I was about to say that. Like the, 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 Only a few the, are about Sometimes when I see people write certain things, I'll be like, wait, why are you saying this? Everybody, you know this all true. these media companies are content marketing companies now. They're not, con- they're not doing journalism anymore. Um, sorry, also, in terms of journalism, sorry, I want to give a shout out to Dennis and Emmanuel. Shout out to Dennis. Those boys. Emmanuel Daraloe. No, not Which one? Oh, Esom Nofu. Esom Nofu. Those two Somnofu guys is doing well. They are playing yeah. games, actually, man. Shout out to Dennis. Those are the new custodians I'm of the very culture. very proud of Dennis. Yeah. Okay, Africa. Yeah. Dennis is doing really well. Yeah. Um, but De- Dennis is kind of... Dennis is... Dennis is okay, Africa. Too. Dennis is okay, Africa, yeah. yeah. Um, there are some young people that are still writing. There's, there's this boy, Aki... Aki told me there at, at Zikoko. He's giving a different idea of what entertainment journalism oh, is at Zikoko. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you know him. Um, the boy... Zikoko has never been, they, they never really mastered the culture part of it. They were more about the counterculture part of it in terms of Nigerian entertainment. But he's g- keeping it real and is doing what, he's, nice. what he's doing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of critical opinions, but I can understand. Um, I, can, I fuck with it. Oh, um, where editor call you that? Do you know people that give us $10,000? Exactly. Bro! Like the, 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 I think it's majorly, I think it's majorly that the, it's the, 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 the problem is that the art of Honesty in this storytelling. Oh, I want to jump talk. Don't. The art of <laughs> honesty in this storytelling can sometimes be can be better. Yeah. The honesty mm. in the storytelling can be better. Uh, Melody Roundup now. Okay. It's an Awuki Melody Roundup. We're done. <laughs> we made it through the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that. Do you feel rusty? Do I feel? Yes, I do. I feel very rusty. Are you rusty? No, you're not like, rusty. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very rusty. But yeah, shout out to you for tuning in and um, you know, for listening to us. Yeah, Thank you up. so much, Afrobeat legend, for coming to AOT2. You're an Afrobeat legend. I've been disturbing Afrobeat AOT2 every day. We go share a person. But yeah, so we're done. Um, don't forget to catch this episode live. It drops on Monday on YouTube, right? Guys, yeah. the episode drops on Monday, bright and early, on all bright and early. platforms, everywhere you get it. Any conversation that you missed here, you can get it on all the platforms that you get your podcast. Send us an email. Um, our email is going to be flashing across this on YouTube. Send us some fan mails. Let us know what you think about how we're coming back. Let us know your thoughts about the episode as well. Don't forget, this episode was brought to you by Shivers Rego. You can also hit us up. We are going to have some Shivers bottles to come out to you. So let's go, guys. See you soon. Thank you very much. See you next week. Peace out. Peace out.